Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, -on -one exclusive content, behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there, me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Damn. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Ooh. The best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Mr. Cole leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinions expressed on this program are mine. But the TS makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tell Miss R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Like gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. boy, oh, I don't care whatever happens to Candace, but bless her heart. <laughs> the premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the fuck along, because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black motherfuckers, because you black motherfuckers don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round away girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender or their sexual preferences. I what? just want to know where you found this wig at. Don't you do this to me. We're both sitting up here looking like women with shortcuts, so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off. We also have Mo, the engineer, who gives the straight perspective. Deuce time. What the H-E-L-L? This is an LBGTQ show that's curated and created by us for you. I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not gonna disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we gonna read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all are right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. It's morning, and we slept the night away. <laughs> Shout out at the suck, I want to say. It's Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. I just feel that it's important that I let you guys know that it's nine o'clock somewhere, bitch. Okay. Like I don't, I, I really think that y'all have a problem with me coming to the Maddie in the morning show, whatever time I get ready. When I wake up, it's morning. So with that being said, is it on? Is it on honey? Is this bitch recording? 
What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the Maddie and the whatever time of fucking day we get up and call it morning, morning show! Girl, listen, listen, okay? It's about, hold on. Now, listen, we've compromised a lot. Don't come over here to my where's Craig's cash yet. We've already had, we've already windmilled and fought about that. <laughs> when the time comes for Craig's cash yet to come up there, you'll see Craig's cash yet at the bottom. We already talked about this at windmill. If you're watching this, you're watching this on my platform, on Craig's platform. Craig got his promo. Don't come over here. You can, I'm only going to bend so much, okay? <laughs> Craig will be in the comment section posting his cash app for that. I don't want that long shit running across the screen like that. I told him that this not, I don't want it running across the screen. That's just the way it's going to be. Now, don't start that. Now, what's wrong with the mic? Mo, they say your mic going in and out. You need to keep it close to your mouth, Mo. Keep it close to your mouth. I'm tired of instructing you mid that stuff, okay? Here we go. <laughs> I feel like this right here this morning, though. Hold on. I, wait a minute. What's going on? It don't want to play? Shake that shake that to me. One more time, Craig. One more time. Oh my God, I just, it's just for, it's just something about that just makes me want to bend over like that. Mo in there checking the mics right now. He checking it right now. It's just, Mo, Craig, it don't, it don't make you feel the spirit like that. You well, know, you're going to have to come you know in here, turn them that. up and down. I love that. You that had to come in. You, it, shit, that girl she was, was singing for blood. For blood. I found her TikTok. She be singing. Oh, I follow her. Her name is Tatiana Clark. Yeah. I follow, I follow Tatiana Clark. I just feel so, when she say hands on your knee, right. it's just something to what, about the way colored folks can take anything and make it a Negro spiritual. Well, you know, we have different vocal folds. We're not doing this, Craig. No, I'm just saying we do. Even though this is streaming on your platform. <laughs> we do have different vocal folds. Even though we're not doing this. Our vocal folds are made differently. Even though we're not doing this, even though we're filming on your show, on your platform, Craig, we're not doing this to my white people. I'm telling you, that's, that's a real thing. Just because you don't want to tap dance in, in the words of that bitch that said I be tap dancing for the white, just because you don't want to make any of the white money, <laughs> don't mean I don't. <laughs> I'm fine with the black money. That's okay. And that's why I'm rich and we're in <laughs> and you're middle class. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what am I? Middle, middle class. <laughs> white people send me some money. No, don't. <laughs> you don't like y'all. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> So, all right, last night, uh, I was in the process of, hold on, let me send these videos, this video to the places that needs to be, that I need to send them to. Hold on. 
Bitch, I'm already twisted, Craig. I'm twisted already. How many glasses have you had? Girl, I've had a bottle. Oh. Mo, can you pull up the number for Betty Ford? <laughs> <laughs> in fact, pull up that place where Whitney was staying over there. Don't do that. Don't cop. Cop. She was over there in Ridgewood. Ridgeview. Don't do that. Can you pull that number you, up? Well, you will not. Well, where's Mariah going? Insane. So, I don't know what Mariah. Baby, it's because that dick went down her throat the way it did. Hands uh, on your knees. Which one, that billionaire or, or Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon. Yeah, that that billionaire ain't got that. That billionaire ain't touching no, no, none of the esophagus that Nick Cannon touched. So he just hit the epiglottis. He, it, it, yes. <laughs> wait, wait. Not, not too much HSBC right now. <laughs> what is it called? The epiglottis? The epiglottis. The epiglottis. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know that little dangly part that hangs the, in the oh, back? That, Part of you talking about a little negative thing in the back <laughs> right, of the right. Right. So that's right there at the it's back. The epiglottis. Epiglottis. Oh, okay. Craig, you be knowing some things. I be listen, I'm so enamored to know you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so enamored to know you. So, ladies and gentlemen, when we see this picture, the word is epiglottis. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, when we see this photograph right here, it is called epiglottis. <laughs> Epiglottis. That has nothing to do with what. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> when we see this picture, we talk about Nick, <laughs> Nick the Dick Cannon. We how it's epiglottis. <laughs> epiglottis. So anytime that we this picture flashes up on the screen throughout the show, we will hashtag epiglottis. <laughs> so Maddie Mob again. Anytime, Maddie Mob and Pin Pals, anytime that this picture pops up on the screen, we will hashtag Epiglottis. Epiglottis. Bitch. Now, speaking of Epiglottis, have y'all watched uh, Kelly Rowland's new movie uh, by Tyler Perry? It's called Mia Culpa. Hands, hands in, I, I like to see hands in the comment section. For those of you that have watched the movie Mia, Mia Culpa by Tyler Perry, uh, starring um, Kelly Rowland, Mia Culpa. Not yet. Someone said not yet. Okay, I see a lot of not yet. Okay, I see some hands. I see people saying not yet. Nope. Okay. Mia, Mia Culpa. Okay. I think I'm going to have to watch it again before I give my honest, complete... Um, What's your initial opinion? I was asleep. <laughs> What's your initial opinion? I, I rested for a second. Maybe it was because I've been, you know, Craig, now you do know that I'm in the process of moving. I'm in the process of moving. I'm in the process of getting my house in order. Get your house in order. I'm in the process of getting my house in order. I'm moving. I mean, it is a Tyler Perry movie. And in Tyler Perry movies, there's kind of like the same... Oh, I didn't say that. But they're, they're the same lines. Uh -huh. But the correct term is what? Oh, okay. Um, but I don't want to say that because they had Travante in there. Now, no. Bitch, let me explain it's, well, what's going on with the mic. So we good? Okay. Because Travante Rose was in there. And let me tell you something. Travante Rose, <laughs> bitch, listen. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. I'm sure. We'll talk about that when fag talk comes. But I just wanted, I just wanted to graze at the top without having some fag moments in there right there. I just wanted to graze the top, honey. Or glaze the top like a donut. I didn't want to do it all the way around. Because, you know... Because when we get into fact talk, the donuts gets completely dipped, drenched in glaze. Um, I'm trying to get it in words before I went to sleep. I mean, it captured my mama. And ma a majority of Tyler Perry movies capture my mama. So that speaks volumes to me. Before I go on, please, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you guys, I know you guys have been out there and you've been getting my perfume and it was sold out. Y'all hit it so hard it was sold out. But guess what? I got on those niggas' asses and the perfume is back available. 
So if you're watching this video, you see how Mo put it on my face, please scan it. When you scan it, and you can also use Maddie 20, the code to get 20% off is Maddie 20. Mo put it back again. He stopped moving it from my face. I want them to see you talking. No, it's okay. They need to see this, the code. The code. Me talking ain't got nothing to do. The code is going to take them directly there. They're going to scan the code. Okay, so you'll let me know when to take it off. I will. Thanks. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Just leave it there. Leave me there. <laughs> leave it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> so I need you guys to use the code Maddie 20. It, it has it has been selling out like hot cakes. It's been selling like good pussy. Maddie 20, you get 20% off. I'm getting ready to drop the new scent closer to what comes before summer, Craig. I'm not that smart. Spring. In the springtime. <laughs> <laughs> <That's spring>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are in the winter. Okay, so getting closer to the spring, you feel it? Do you, do you feel it? Craig, do you feel it? I do. I don't. <laughs> so getting closer to the spring, I'm going to be releasing the other one, and it's going to be called Everything Black. Uh-huh. Everything Black. Or Everything More, but the play on the word more, like what they used to call us darker people, um, what the Europeans called us black people was more. So it might be everything more, it might be everything black. It all depends on how dark I take the scent. Because I am going to take the scent dark. And it will it will be unisex, but I am going to take the scent dark so that the so that the men are the women. The women. The men are the women. And then everything and everything in between. Yes. Because somebody did, okay, Mo, you can take it out of my face now. It's enough. Okay. They have it. <laughs> yes, because. Yeah, they're a little, they're, they're unisex, but the, 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 the everything right here. I mean, Craig, listen, when you put it on, I, listen, you can put this on with anything and it will enhance what you're wearing. And if this, this fragrance right here will, it will, it will cloak it and it will lift it. It will cloak it. I didn't think about him. <laughs> it will cloak it and lift it up. Even if you're wearing Creed or if you're wearing any of it, it will cloak it and then it'll lift it up. It will elevate it because I'm an elevation. Thank you. Um, is that narcissistic of me, Craig? Really? Do you think I'm narcissistic? I mean, it can reach. It can reach. I may have to move my belly a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, Craig and I are really good friends. I really want you to know this because one thing about my Craig is that <laughs> Craig is going to check me in any, in any, in any capacity. As, as, as you can see, the faggy checked me. <laughs> And we're now streaming on his page and we're running his promos right now. <laughs> but I, I do have a place where I compromise it. We are not running his cash app down there to the bottom. <laughs> so he'll be in the comment section posting his cash app. I oh, Go ahead, Craig. You can do that. You see? <laughs> that, bitch talk, that bitch hit me up yesterday. And listen, y'all are not privy to our private conversations until, yeah. until we make them public. And I, you know, I thought about making this funny because this was so funny to me. <laughs> No, I, no, I was never going to screen because there are many things that we talk oh, about right, that right. we that can't get on the screen. Right, right, right. Right. But when it comes to our friendship, Craig said to me, he said, bitch, you are one selfish, nasty bitch. <laughs> then I said, girl, I don't give a fuck how you feel about me, girl, with that shit. This has nothing to do. This has nothing to do, nothing at all to do with me being nasty, so nasty and so rude. This has me that I don't want. At the bottom of the screen, I don't want that whole longest lower third. I don't want that. Like, listen. And I said, I don't have any problem when you on your when when you're virtual. I said, well, we could do the show virtual, girl. You don't have to come over here, girl. It's not, but I mean, we still do what we do. I said, well, girl, when you come virtual, girl, I, you're we we've never had any problem with your cash up being down at the bottom, girl. 
It is because this is what we do. Like, you know, nobody, listen, there's no underlining. If there's going to be shade, we're going to shade each other in each other's face. That's how fags, that's how real fags you do. <laughs> Wrong fags. <laughs> yeah. That's how real fags should do. You phony fags, y'all be going over there. <laughs> you phony fags. Y'all be trying to shade on the slide, do a little slide. You be like, girl, now you could have shaded me in my mug. Right. Yes, girl, you should you could have you could have shaded me on the side. You could have threw some bleach in my mother. You try to throw bleach on my clothes and hit my bag like I don't see the bleach spot. Girl, throw it in my face. Throw it in my face so that I can throw it back. Girl. But then once we say we gotta say we move on. We do. And then then when we when after we've keyed about it and we found it funny, mm -hmm. you know, I bring it, I bring it to the public because pretty like I don't give a fuck what you tell those fucking people. <laughs> Bitch, you better run my promo. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you better run my promo. And not only you better run my motherfucking promo, bitch, bitch, you better motherfucking run this shit on my damn page. <laughs> and so for that, this is what we're going to do for the fag, okay? Welcome to season two of Telling Our Stories. But this season is a little different. We're coming to you all the way from Paris, France. I decided to move to Paris briefly to learn the language. Now, while my plan was to immerse myself in French culture to learn the language, God had a bigger, brighter plan for this trip. This time around, I sit down with black, queer men and women across several sexual identities. Now make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss an episode. This is Telling Our Stories, the Paris edition. Now, I don't know where to watch that at, but the fact I put, I ran the promo. <laughs> the one that we're streaming on currently right now. <laughs> so, y'all messy hoes that want to get in the comment and y'all want to stir up the echoes <laughs> and be like, Craig, you know she don't like, you know she phone, that's what she do. We had our discussion. I was tapped on my shoulder. I, re I, I would respond. I was tapped back. And I was hit with, you were one nasty bitch. <laughs> oh my God. It was so hilarious to me. Like, I, because if and he was like, and bitch, let me let you know something. This is not a hostile. Let me move it. <laughs> <laughs> and bitch, let me let you know something. This is not a hostile tapping you on the shoulder. This is just me letting you know that you're one nasty, selfish <laughs> bitch. I was like, uh, I said, there's no pressure. I said, there's no pressure. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> right. And I said, oh, bitch, it's pressure. Because you tapped me while I wasn't even thinking about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and the pressure went up. And then after that, I said, well, I'll ponder on the rest of the situation. Then, and then I'll make my assessment by the end of the day. <laughs> and here we have two promos ran by Craig. So in the midst of all of that going on, we ran crazy promos. Let's go back to, Mo, can you do me a favor and put this QR code back <laughs> up here? For the girls that are just signing in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please get your everything perfume. It is 20% off right now. We're getting ready to do a major overhaul for you guys. He has a mic. Craig has a mic. Somebody said he needs a He has a mic. Can y'all not hear me? Craig has a mic. He has a mic. He has a mic. You guys just, I think you guys just need to keep your mouth open. So, right. We got to get this together. Because I seen that hoe over there, Jovi, talking about something. As long as I've been on the internet and my mic's still going up. Bitch, as long as I've been... Hope, then take this down. Cause let me read a bitch real quick. As long as I've been on the internet and my mic been acting up and y'all got all those good mics, y'all haven't surpassed me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what does that tell you? It ain't about the mic. It's about the mic her. <laughs> bitch so y'all done been on the internet doing all these things and doing this stuff and y'all still have not surpassed me yet you haven't so my mic will be in and out it can go up and down I can have a co-host no co-host I can have a, a tour show I can have a television I can have all these things and you still have not surpassed me yet I'm still looking for your resumes girls the only way y'all come, I never put y'all pictures in my mother. When I'm reading you hoes, bitch, you hoes never know I'm reading y'all until y'all motherfucking watching the video like y'all watch 
Bitch, I never put y'all face in no damn picture or no thumbnail. I don't need to use y'all hoes for no to put thumbnails up to talk about y'all bitches. I don't have to do none of that shit. All that shit that y'all claim that y'all got that's so much better than mine, and you still have yet to surpass me. And I'm talking about the cunt that be terrorizing me, that be carrying on. And y'all have y'all pussies, and you still haven't surpassed me. And you fags have all of y'all things that y'all have, literally, and you still haven't passed me. <laughs> all of the things that y'all have. What? I think I'm going to miss that. Maybe if they did, they'll catch it <laughs> again. <laughs> and you still haven't passed me. So we not we not even finna sit up here and think that you 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 hoes be letting me have it, girl. Girl, because you don't. I read y'all just because it's sport for me. Okay. Anyway, Mo, do we need to turn Craig's mic up? Because they're saying they can't hear him. Push Mo's mic. I mean, push Craig's mic up just a smidge. That's right. Who is Jovi? The girl that sit over there with that girl. Uh, all over there, that Tasha K camp, and that girl with that damn uh, that Instacart girl, honey. <laughs> they need to put a little bit of the enamel right there in between. <laughs> all right. So this this motherfucking goddamn Sutter home has to be all over the place. But I just want to let you know that Mia Culpa is that is definitely something that you guys should watch. Mia Culpa, and maybe. Maybe you guys may feel the same way that I feel. You may, you may not. I don't know. The discount code is Maddie 20. Maddie 20. Uh, Y'all saying I went offline on Facebook. Hold on. It's showing me that it's still there. So, Mo, you listening to it? Is it bad? You waiting on Craig? Okay, take me take the QR code down, please. Thank you. That's right. The word of the day is surpass. Y'all could talk all the trash y'all want to talk about me all you want to, but you have yet to surpass me. I'll be waiting for you at the finish line. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Thanks. All right. So we've talked about a little bit about Mia Culpa. We've talked about... Uh, getting uh, uh Craig's and I's friendship and relationship and how funny and stuff that we are. And we um talked about what we drinking a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. What's that? Is that something playing in the background? I can't. Oh, you got to close that door. Cause I can hear the feedback on that. Um, uh, they said Tyler needs to hire Craig, the writer. Probably. Tyler doesn't want to no, he means it. Hold on, when Mo comes back, we'll 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 adjust the screen and make it big so that you can fly. Because you know we need it to be big when you come in here, Craig. <laughs> yes. You know, so he and I had a conversation many, many years ago. That story is but he said to me that he stopped working with other writers, in particular when he was just doing his stage plays and he would put them on DVD. He <clears throat> the musicians wanted royalties. When the DJ, you know, like they they were paid for the stage play, for playing, producing music for the stage play. But then when they would put the stage play on DVD and he would sell that, you know, that extra arm of income, that he didn't want to pay them. And they were like, well, we help you know, create this music. Why shouldn't we get paid from the DVD set? And so that's when he stopped. Well, did he pay them one? Did he already pay them for the work that they did? He paid them for the, yes. But 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 that's not like that's not an Oliver T. S. Madison situation. They created the music, ah, uh. and then he put it in the DVD form and started selling it. They should have definitely been entitled to royalties. Oh, okay, all right. So, lady, without ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we're about to slide over into some fag talk. I'm currently just to let you guys know that we are working. Ah. Okay. Don't Craig. Craig, you see how you got me together in my drunken stupid? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't miss it. Okay. All right. All right. Mo, come make it big for us, please. No, make it big for us, please. Sending my love to.
Christian said he had fucked up, so he had he had muted my mic by mistake. Yeah, I was trying to mute Bud. That's why y'all couldn't hear me. Yeah, that that little second. Child, one thing the straights will do at times to us fags, they will sabotage us. But it's okay. We still love them, though. We sure do. Because if it wasn't for them, there would be no us. Because they can procreate us. That's true. Because you have a lot of fags. F-A-G-E. I do, too. And some of them don't identify as fags. <laughs> but you're a fag. But they should. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of people that don't identify as fags, but they should. Child, did you see those recently leaked photos? That I don't know, but several people saying. Keep talking. Can you not hear? Did you see that, Mo Craig? Just pull the pull the rubber off. Yeah. Pull the what? Pull the rubber off, Craig. Y'all can you hear me? It is a little faint in the back. We may have to turn it up, Mo. You may have to turn. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Can you guys hear me now? Don't forget to get your tickets for Nashville. We're going to be in Nashville this coming Thursday. Yeah, it is fake. Okay, he's trying to fix it now. Very faint and quaint. Very dainty, like a woman. <laughs> Are we going to have to put Craig on a lapel? Testing one, two. Don't forget, we're going to be in Nashville on the 29th. Tickets are on sale, fagtalk.com. They said, there we go, much better. Oh, are we sure we're not going to have to put Craig on a lapel? Well, you know, I was a broadcast journalism major over there at Hampton University. I mean, if, are we do, if we're doing fine right now, since he pulled the rubber off. Sponge. <laughs> Can you guys hear me now? Is this good? Okay. They said, no, nah, it's fixed for sure. Okay. Great. Awesome. <laughs> what we were we talking about, Greg? We were about to go into Miss Netta, I thought. No, we were about to talk about Tiger first. I'd like oh, to. We still talking about her. I mean him. him. No, Craig. We're not. I, gonna, I said him. We are not going to misgender. I said him. We're not misgender. That was a Freudian slip. We're not going to misgender people. That was a Freudian slip. So here we go. So recently, I was on Twitter. I don't know if these are I AI because there's a lot of AI shit going on. I don't know, but I do want to talk about. I want to talk about this. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the first photograph of Tyga. We see Tiger with his bear with his bear Debbie's out. Um, but we do see him with Debbie swirl with his chocolate on the outside, creamed field Debbie's. Well, I see. I like all that kind of carry on. I know because you're you're F A G. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then it got really interesting as the photographs went on and they went to uh Illuminous Green. Girl. I was like, wait. He all tooted up. I like when they tooted up like that. I was just like, wait. So, I like when they toot it up. Like I know that. most women do, but I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he had tooted it up. I was like, is this AI? No. Now there is a photograph that I have in my phone. You want to see it, Craig? I okay. do. Then we can't post one here. No, for sure. Oh, wait, wait. Go back to your text. No, no. I, you don't need to see that. No, no, no. no. I want. I need to see. Good. Go back for a quick second. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure I was up there in the pin. Oh, message. Girl, you'll be removed later. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 All my iPhone users, you know, you can pin your people. You'll be removed later. I wanted to make sure okay. I was pinned. I did it because I knew you were coming. Girl, I almost saw that video of Mo. Uh uh, don't do that. That's hidden in the chamber of secrets. <laughs> Oh girl, what was that? Girl, it's a lot, girl. Stop. Get out. Get get. Oh off, my. Get off of my. No, you actually you should be asking what is that. 
that little boy. <laughs> oh my girl, hold on. I'm scrolling because girl, it's a lot, girl. But I tell you, girl, I keep these things in my phone, honey, because I'm just like the girl. Mm-hmm. The girl. G W O R. The girl. Remember him? Who was that? I see that, but I, I don't know who he is. Who is that above him? <laughs> is that Tiger? Is that Tiger? Are you looking at it like I'm looking but at But is that him for real? That could be a lookalike. Okay. We're going to do that? All right. Is that a lookalike? Is that a lookalike? <laughs> Let me airdrop this to you. So you can ask people in your closest friend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's very skilled. Yes. And patient. <laughs> mm. But yeah, that was something else. But, um, but maybe it's that AI. To, it all could be AI. Well, you know, I have seen those AI photos of uh, Michael B. Jordan. Oh, like, oh, you talking about these? So you just have everybody's stuff in your phone bag? I do. They have mine. <laughs> <laughs> they have mine. So what's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah, that. He looks good right there. He do. He's, he looks good everywhere he is. I think he tips through the tulips. That white queen did come on that damn thing and was carrying on and honey, everybody acted like that didn't that didn't happen. Remember when that white queen was on the side? Yeah, oh my God, because you know what happened. And see, here's the thing. And, and I love let me say this because I'm not Craig. But the white girls could come through and spill all the chats on the black girls, on the black trades and all that. And nobody, everybody's just like and sweeps it under the rug. But then the moment when the black when the, when the trades get caught with one of us, we fool them. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? Mm-hmm. Can you help me, Craig, right. with this? You're right. What is that? Is that internalized? It definitely is. It definitely is. Because there have been so many rumors and, and lies and fallacies and stuff like that that have been pinned to us. Mm-hmm. And then when the white girls come out like and say that they've had because they those men tiptoe into the gardens mm-hmm. and they smell all the tulips when they're smelling the white ones, the red ones, the Asian ones, the green ones, the blue ones, the Hispanic the, ones, all the tulips when they're doing the things, okay? When the things is to be done. It's just that when it falls on one of us, mm-hmm. that they now we're lying on them. Mm-hmm. And I just be like, Well, girl, you didn't hear that girl, that queen over there say that mm-hmm. girl. Yeah. Phyllis said it. Oh, Phyllis Russell, you did say it. Mm -hmm. And it's just crazy. It's just like, you know, y'all see and hear, because I've been hearing about certain men for for many years being involved in the dark arts with the, with. You mean other than Bobby Valentino? Well, he's been caught with, uh, with, with the black girls. Mm -hmm. We don't even know those white girl stories. Right, we don't even know those stories. Is Malik Yoba into the black girls, or he? Likes... I know he was dating Carmen Carrera, and she's Hispanic. Yes, I think mm-hmm. she's Puerto R- Rican, honey. Rick, 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 and she's a beautiful girl. You mm-hmm. know, we've mended our relationship. Okay, time. yeah, because listen, I'm I'm old. I don't, I'm old. I'm not that old, but I'm old. I'm old enough to be like, girl, we, let's mend that. If it's mendable, right? You know, if it's not, then we don't. Mm-hmm. And we've hugged and kissed and got, well, nice. You know, and and I, I, we respect each other or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. we there was a point in life that we've had differences and things like that. However, you know, we we did we we do see the men tend to usually come out with, and this is no shade. And I don't want any of my followers that are not of African American descent or black you know, to be feeling some type of way when I say this. But we do usually see a lot of the black men come out with them, but they started in the hood with us. Well, now, I, yeah. Hey, mama, hey! She up there roller skating. Girl, <laughs> so she up there roller skating. 
But to your point, in addition to what you're saying, even black men in California ooh, have an affinity for white women, Asian women, Hispanic women. Black women are in the back. That They're in the true. Rosa Parks section. That is true. You know, that is true. And here's the thing. When I go to LA, like people be like, don't them, them niggas don't be trying to. I'm like, first of all, I'm not skinny. I don't eat quinoa. I'm not having a flex seed salad. I, you know, this is not on my this is not what I'm doing. Well, so girl, you were just eating a bonani. I, I was, but I will be having some fried fish as soon as it comes downstairs. Right. Now you know you may really be a lesbian because you were eating pussy. No, that's not a pussy. And no punani is pussy. That's the name with this, this that's the urban nickname for pussy. However, that's wrapped in lettuce. No. That's wrapped in greenery. It's wrapped in kale. If, if there's any green pussy out there, you shouldn't eat it either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, look, Sean T. Somebody said in the comments, Sean T. Who's that? You know the black guy who's a, a fitness trainer and, and, and he does all that moving and jumping and carrying on? He got a white man. Uh, chance said that's not true. He want to say something about California. Give us one second chance because I just want to get this out. What you want to say about California? When no, listen. When I arrive in California with my team, Mo, can you? Is your microphone working? Yeah. Okay. What do I always tell y'all when I get to California? When I'm in LA? Oh, you just go there to work and then go back home. Listen. That's it. I go there to work. Gonna come back and home. come home. We be we be out. We be out eating, and I'm my feet be kicked up. Now, when I get to New York City, that's a different story. That's a whole different story. East, East Coast. When I get to New York, my phone, it be niggas like, hey, I say, hey, where you at? You, you, you around here? I'm like, oh, no, how y'all even, Right. how do you even, how do, how, how you even check my guy? Their spidey senses. How have your senses even tingled that I'm in town? Because <laughs> I'm not a prostitute anymore, so I don't have any advertisements up. <laughs> how do you know I'm here? Oh, it's my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do follow you do follow the Instagram and the Twitter and the know that I'm in mm -hmm, town. Because, mm -hmm. bitch, when I set foot in NYC, it's a whole different thing. I'm like, girl, I have to have, if I want to get it on the floor, I have to have this pussy ready. Mm -hmm. I can't sit over there and eat. Like, I go out to California and I eat religiously and go right. back and go back to my room. Yeah. And rest. Yeah. But in New York City, I'm like, man, I might want to tip out and have a little fun, a little something, you know, a little one, two. But in LA, every time I'm in LA, it, Every time that I am in Los Angeles, California, my feet is up watching TV. Girl, you be calling me on the phone. We be gossiping. S sitting in the hotel. Like, girl. Listen, I lived in California. And for whatever reason, even with black gay men, a lot of the ones that are doing something with their life or whatever, got a job, can spell, <laughs> can add and subtract. They're not Craig, usually interested. It, it sounds like you're reading the people that did not get good on pay for your say. <laughs> right. It's like they don't really, they don't really check for like when I lived in California, there were black guys that wouldn't even look you in your eye. They would look right past you. And they were only looking and checking for the white guys or the Hispanic guys, the exotic guys. And it was just like, what kind of identity crisis is this? Yeah, people ask me, Master, could you live there? I said, yes, I can work there. Yeah. Yes, I most definitely could go to California and work there. Most definitely. I mm -hmm. most definitely can go to California and work in California. Can I go to California and date? No. No. First of all, I'm on the heavy side. I don't think they like meat on the bone. <laughs> I think they like meat on the on the cot, but not all the way on the bone. I don't think that's that it's not an interest in meat on the bone. Yeah. So that was your experience too, Craig. Yes, indeed. Oh, is, is it because you're black like that? It, indeed. You know, some some, not all. Some of those black folks out there, gay, straight, male, female, they get out there and they they doing everything they can to try to get into get in close proximity of whiteness. You know, it's just like, oh well, I don't think you can really do anything for me. So I'm trying to talk to these people over here. Their pitch changes. They start speaking in a different pitch. You're like, girl, I thought you were just black 20 minutes ago. 
Yeah. So it's just not my, it's not just my experience. Mm-mm. Okay. Now for the black men like Mo that are darker. They usually have white women or Hispanic women. Hey, that might be the that might be the cream the, the, the cream de la crowd that he get out there like, like hey, hi, hello, I love your hair. You're so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so dark, are you African? Wow. You're like you're a real African. You're a real African? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not even that dark. Well, who, who, who is this right here? That's not that get... light, Mo. <laughs> let's, let's, let, hold on. Let's not do this. Oh, who, who is this oh, right sorry. here? Can you put it back? I'm sorry. Whoever that is is about to be watching from another channel. Keep it up. I see your comments. I'm ignoring you. Yeah. But Mo, you clearly wanted my attention. <laughs> but keep it up. You can be watching from a, from another account. You're Mo, about to get blocked. Mo, you're you're not that light. I'm not that dark neither. Talking shit with an avatar. Mo, again, you're not that light. But I'm not that dark neither. You make it seem like I'm like, I'm like a, a right off phone screen. Oh, okay. Now we were talking about something in that ring. <laughs> Can you go ahead and pull that up, please? <laughs> let's, let's segue right into that, please. Because <laughs> you're not that light. Don't do that. Oh, this? Are you talking about this one? Oh no, actually, I know exactly. Uh huh. That, that one. one. Go ahead and play it. Yeah. Because I am not that dark. Either. No, you're not that light, though. <laughs> it's your girl, Cleo Trappa. Happy Black History Month, y'all. So in honor of Black History Month, I want to educate my community on this word behind me that a lot of y'all are Black and don't know the proper definition and don't even know that you yourself may be a colorist. Colorism to be prejudiced and to discriminate towards darker skin tone. Colorism is not racism. It's colorism. It is towards darker skin tones, not towards black people as a race, not towards the race, but towards darker skin tones. You could be dark skin and be a colorist. You can be light skin and be a colorist. It stems from colorism. It's called featureism. Your prejudice towards somebody's feature, they're not Eurocentric enough for you, lips too big and pink, nose too wide, you have a problem? Featureism, texturism. You have a problem with somebody's hair? The curls aren't loose enough? The, the hair isn't straight enough? You have a problem with someone's hair? Texturism. These are all things that stem from colorism. These are, this is colorism's stinky little cousins. Sticky, dirty little cousins, baby kids, featureism and texturism. They all coming from this, this problem right here. It's a problem. Let's talk about it, Craig. This is your department. You do have an HBCU degree. <laughs> oh, that's my department. Yes, and I'm going to learn something for you, and I'm going to have Alexa help me. Well, she's right, though. You know what I mean? Like, it, it goes back to the whole uh, brown paper bag thing, the whole Creole thing. Oh, I'm Creole. Well, you're still black. It goes back to the the portion or the, the crop of Dominicans who don't count themselves as black. Niece, nephew, you are part of the African diaspora. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're black. Alexa, what does diaspora mean? <laughs> mm -mm. Diaspora. Diaspora is usually defined as the scattering of the Jews to countries outside of Palestine uh -uh. after the Babylonian. Alexa, Palestine. what is African diaspora? The African diaspora refers to the communities around the world that are descended from Africans, primarily in the Americas. So there could be anybody who, you could be from Haiti, you could be from Barbados, you could be, you know what I mean, Dominican. You know, you do have black people who are very much, oh, he's too light or he's too dark. Yes, I, I see it a lot. Like, listen, even when I was a, a, a hooker. When you were a what? When I, were, when I was a hooker. <laughs> I experienced too when I was a young African man. A hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a hooker though. I was, I was. Right. So, <laughs> um, I, and again, we've had these conversations so, so many times. And, and you know, Mo and I and Craig gets into this thing where we windmilling about black men and this and the other. 
But even when I was a hooker or escort or whatever, you know, they would the men would say things disparaging things to us black girls. And I know that 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 bio black women mm -hmm. have received the same thing, not as hookers, but they have said that this to black girls. Well, they you know they more they more passable than y'all because y'all too y'all got y'all too mad y'all have y'all hard y'all got hard features or strong faces or you know they're so soft and real and and this is what a woman is supposed to look like you know and like well you know, well well I'll give you one fifty but I'll give her fifteen hundred dollars because that's more beautiful. Like we've experienced these things, you mm. know, and but because I have a big dick, I definitely lean into the to the space of nigga. You may go over there, you may give motherfucking me a copper. You may think that this, but I know that you came here, you cock eating ass nigga. I know you came here for cock, and I know you're not eating cock over there. <laughs> There's enough cock over here for you to eat. So you, what you pay her, you'll pay me twice. Because <laughs> that kibble was in bits over there. Girl. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, Miss Lady said, like, when they say things, You're oh, you cute for girl. a dark skin girl. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. And so when I tell women about the experiences that we have as trans women, we may not have the same lived experiences, mm -hmm. but there are some there are some shared experiences that we have. Like there are so many shared experiences that I have with bio women. I'm not using I don't want to even though I should say sis, but I'm outside of that shit. I don't I, don't, I ain't got time to be fighting women about this shit all day. I just don't. Right. But. Even when we get into this space of talking about that, like I try to tell them, like we have had so we have so many shared experiences and not, you know, correct intersectionality. That's yes. it right there. Like it's like, girl, like, you know, you uh, we're not this far off space of like, oh my God, mm -hmm. I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, mm -hmm. oh God, like, yeah, I understand exactly what you're saying because this the same black men are doing us the same way, motherfucking too. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been so many times that that shit has not happened. Like, um, you sure you ain't mixed? You got to be mixed because you just ain't black. Mm. Speaking of mixed, we're going to move on to Netta. Miss Netta. I can't wait to get to this. Let's go. Let's play it. This is my way. I'm not no transsexual. I ain't no whatever the else community or whatever they got going on. I'm just myself. And if y'all people know me and y'all people from my hometown, y'all would know I never, ever, and still never went outside dressed like no woman. I never. And they and when I get my makeup done and stuff here and, and put on my clothes to, to do my skits and stuff, nobody ever seen me in public. Craig, you keep tapping me. What's going on, girl? Craig, you keep tapping me. What's going on, girl? Craig, when you, you hit, <laughs> you tap me. Is this something that you want to say to me after you've tapped me? When you interviewed Netta, Miss Netta, Netta, like I missed him. <laughs> well, she said she ain't. But she uses Miss Netta. It's but like, she looked like Mr. Charles, the one who used to cut the grass. Ugh. I don't know what she looks like. I just know that she uses Miss Netta. So I'm going to respect her. I'm going to respect their pronouns because they just, just here's where you, here's where I learned how to use the non-binary conversation right here. Right? Uh -huh. I learned right here. This is exactly where I learned how to use them and they in a sentence. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know what Miss Netta truly identifies as. And she don't need, or he don't either. I, I don't, and I'm saying he because he said he ain't trained. I don't know what Miss Netta identifies as. So because I don't know exactly what Miss Netta identifies as, I can use they and them. Now, they came on the show and they said to me that they are under the LBGTQIA umbrella. This is what they said to me. And I accepted what they said to me because this is this is what they they identify as. They identify as nothing under the umbrella. So he's non-binary? Well, they may be non-binary. I don't know. And they may be 
uh, they may have, uh, they may identify as male. I don't know. I know that their stage name is Miss Netta, and they. Is it like Medea and Tyler? A stage like. I mean, that could be the identity of, of, of that. So therefore, if that might be their identity, it could be a Medea type identity where a Medea is a character. Now, when you look at Miss Netta, you see whatever you see. And, you know, here is my gripe with the whole situation. And I'm not trying to be funny. And I don't want I, I talked to you about this before we got on the telephone. That's right. Um, when y'all was going through this whole thing of trying to figure out what Miss Netta was, a lot of y'all were confused on Miss Netta's gender or gender identity. Lots of people were confused. And then, you know, I'm sitting up here giving all of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the things and the immediate thing that, that you go to, to scream at me is man, man, man. But then you're confused. And I look like my mother, like my mother. And so it's man, man, man. But then you were confused on Miss Netta? When she clearly, like, she just finished cutting some grass. I didn't say that about Miss Netta. I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> he, clearly looked, he clearly looked like he just came from the, from, the, from the yard. They are not in control of the way that they look, Craig. Absolutely not. But I'm just trying to figure out how some of these people are confused. I mean, there are people that look like Miss Netta. There, I have seen some women that look like Miss Netta. And when Miss Netta has on their makeup, they actually look nice. They look very nice when they paint it to the floor. Miss Netta, without makeup, looks like she has a lawn care service, okay? Ooh. Lawn care. Miss Netta, grass and weeds. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Netta shrubbery. <laughs> Landscaping and bushery. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Girl, don't you need somebody to cut your grass over there at the new house? <laughs> I already have people to take care of my grass, but don't you need somebody? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. It was just a confusing part to me how that you people that were shady were so hell bent on mm -hmm. calling me a man, but, but but excusing Miss Netta's whole appearance, <laughs> excusing, <laughs> overlooking, and screaming out that you were confused, circumnavigating, yes, that you were usurping, yes. That you were confused on Miss Netta's identity, but yet you were sure on mine. Certain. Certain. And here's the thing. This is even before, but this is just also let me know that y'all have went and watched my dick swinging. <laughs> <laughs> what they do? They've watched the dick swinging because it had on the surface, there's no way that you're screaming out, this person looks like a man. Well, and then you're confused on this other person. Well, maybe because they didn't see Netta's dick. That's what I was just about probably, to say and this why. and this speaks to the to the to the fraction of the people that be screaming it out and be like, "Well, I knew," and it's just like, "Uh, yeah, you've been watching." Mm -hmm. And plus, I talk about, it, I'm open about it because one thing that's not going to happen is you're not you're not going to dig up a picture and say, "Well, what's this?" Oh, my dick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Indeed. So I ain't gonna lie. I thought I I thought this letter was a miss. You thought, wait, what? I, I mean, yeah, I wasn't sure. Let me just say I, I wasn't sure. Let me put it like that. I was not sure. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not, I wasn't sure. Not because, and it was the same reason because you said there's some people that just look different. So, Craig, you tap me. Can you continue to tap me while I look at my own? I'm just saying. 
because I don't just go out. I don't just go out and just say this person is a this person is a man or this person is a woman. I, I go by how you address yourself. So what you want me to believe, beloved? Because this is Gay Yon Levan Van Zant speaking now. Gay Yon Levan Zant. So what you want me to believe is that when you looked at Netta, aka Charles's grass and weed service, that you saw a woman. I saw what she represent, what she presented herself as. That wasn't the question, beloved. What she presented herself as that. That, that, that wasn't the question. That wasn't that wasn't the question, oh. beloved. The beloved, not on my watch. <laughs> the question was when you looked at Charles. Hold on, uh -huh. wait, wait a minute. No, Charles, no, no, her, no. Netta's name is Joe. Okay, when you looked at Joe, uh -huh. aka Miss Netta. Hold on, Craig, before you start digging moles back up. <laughs> Someone in the comments said, but Maddie, you have to understand that there are women that look like Miss Netta. That's so, what I'm about to say. But so my question is: so there are no mm -hmm. women. So I don't look like any woman. Right. So this is what you so make me know this. Because when I tell when I be reading with, with, with hoes and I say, you bitch is not hard to look like. When I get into drop down, scrap out fights with bitches that don't like me, you understand what I'm saying? And be and they be screaming out that I look exactly like like this is a, this is a man. That over there is a man. Mo is a man. So when y'all be having these things and I and I come and I say that these two are men, and you come through and you so what you're saying, I just need help here. And then I'm gonna understand the mentality. I need I need help here. So you're saying to me. That Netta, Miss Netta is more passable as a woman. Because that's what they're trying to say. Yeah. No, that's not what I, I'm just saying. Not I'm, you. Yeah. I'm just oh, talking about. Oh, okay. But you're saying that Miss Netta. Who? Miss Netta. No, -uh, how'd you just say it? Miss Netta <laughs> is more passable as a woman than me. Because mm -hmm. if you believe that, I'm okay with what you believe. I'm all right if that's what you believe. I just want like to know, is this, is this what we're, is, is this where we are? Is this what we become? Right. I'd like to know. And Mo, please run the comments, whether they're good or bad. I'd like to see this. And, you know, and my thing is, Miss Netta doesn't, Identify as trans, according to what? No, Miss Netta does not identify right. as trans, and Miss Netta, Miss Netta does say that that they are part of the LBGTQIA community. However, does not identify as a gay man. Ah, no, 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 Mo, you skipped a whole comment. Go Ooh, down, go way? down, go down. Go there, we go, Miss uh, Miss Fazin, Miss Fazin. Oh, this one, this right here, Miss Fazin. Yes, Click it. this is where it. This is what it boils down oh. to. Oh. Ah, okay. It's clear now. That makes sense. It's clear now. She's not a threat. Oh, got it. It's a it's comedy for some people. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. I understand now. Because I was confused because I've I've seen I have seen this with my eyes. And this is not something that and I'm not saying that Miss Netta is is this and that. I'm just saying what I've what the experience that I have had. Ah, I got I understand. Now it's now I'm no longer confused. Because I was confused at first. Oh. Got it. Well, I'm going to respect Miss Netta for exactly who Miss Netta is. Miss Netta states that they're not trans or they're not um they they are part of the LBGTQIA community. They are. That's what they said when I interviewed them that they're not a part that they are a part of the LBGTQIA community. But however, they don't identify as trans and they don't identify as a woman. So I understand it. What especially with. With the way that that was plainly written down, Craig, did, mm -hmm. you, did you get a? That was it. Yeah. Miss uh, Nat is not a threat. Ah. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Mm. 
No, they said, Maddie, you knew this already. No, I actually didn't. Because I had been seeing this floating around and I had been seeing it a lot. Now, you know, I knew what Miss Netta was. I knew. But I asked Miss Netta what was her identity. Mm -hmm. And so Miss Netta explained to me that they are not trans and they are not none, but they are not any of that shit. They are Miss Netta. Mm. Uh, and I got it. So, and I asked because someone did ask the question when, when I asked them. And Miss Netta answered me. There was somebody in the in the comments after on the interview, and they they said, "So you mean to tell me you questioning T. S. Madison being a motherfucking uh, woman, and you not you confused on Miss Netta?" I, and I had those same sentiments too, but I just was quiet about it because I was just like, "Oh, okay, so." Okay. And then Mo, you just came and you gave us Mo came in and validated our conversation because Mo said, Craig, that he thought Miss Netta was. Okay. And I mean, I get your point where you there are women that re can resemble how Miss Netta looks. Right. But I knew Miss Netta was born male. And that's the thing. Every time I, because I don't follow her, sorry, I don't follow her. So if I do crop, come across like a, a a video of her, how I see her all, how I see Miss Netta all the time is dressed up in feminine clothes or or in a bathing or in a women's bathing suit. Or something no, I've like seen that. her just around the house. Yeah, I don't follow her, so I don't, I don't know, I don't follow her, so I don't go through all of her stuff. I don't follow them either, but I mean, come on. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you've seen them around the house? Not around my house. <laughs> not, not around my Shangri La. I mean, on on an internet. <laughs> but I mean, I have seen women who are masculine presenting, but. Yeah, but uh, I knew without a proclamation from Miss Netta. I'm ready to move on. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say a lot of things because I, I, I thoroughly enjoy Miss Netta's presence on the internet and I don't want nobody to take this and twist this up and make it like it's that Miss Netta's on an attack. I, I, again, I'm here respecting everything that Miss Netta states that they identify as. And so because I'm not putting her in the she, her category, because they said that they don't identify as a woman and I'm not putting her in the male category because I didn't hear them say that they are a he. So again, I'm going to just use non-binary terms, which is they and them. And I understand how to use it. Craig, do you understand how to use non-binary? I do, but I just think it's crazy. But don't. Do and that. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm really not. But like them and they is plural. And so it's hard for me to identify a single person as a them or a they. But you, it's not impossible for you to I'm, respect. I, I'm just going to call your name. I'm not saying them and they. But when you're having a conversation about a person. and I'm going to say Miss Netta. Or Netta. I'm not saying them or they. Well, I am. What's your issue with them and they, though, Craig? Because he, said, I just told you, Craig says that them, them and they are, are plural, and that's that. So what? Okay, so if we were going to, because because I want to ask, so if you were to use like uh, a pronoun for for a person that's non-binary, what would you use? They and them. No, I'm talking about Craig. I'm not. I'm gonna just say their name. Oh, okay. There are ways around that. I'm just gonna say their name. I mean, it just, it just, it, it just feels awkward to you. For you, yeah, if, yeah, it, it just, yeah, it's, yeah. But Craig, it's not impossible to do to respect someone's identity, though. I, I'm not saying I'm not, but that's what I'm saying. I'll just say the name. I'm gonna say the name. I'm not. 
I'm not going to try to rewrite the English language because you want to be called them today. I understand what you're saying, Craig. However, uh -huh. when we get into a space and we're having a conversation, like we're having a discussion about, about these people and we're had the discussion is there might be areas that we, we're not going to be able to spit their name. Why wouldn't we? Give me an example of us, us not. Married. I mean, I've been, I've, I have been very respectful to, to the non-binary pronouns. No, right no, no. I'm, I know, but I'm and just I, saying. And, and because it's not my place to to put Miss Netta into a category because I don't live Miss Netta's life. I'm not trying to put. And I know you're not. Oh. What I'm saying is I'm not, it's not my place to put Miss Netta into a category. I do know that her, that, that her stage name is Miss Netta. And so when you use term like like Miss Tim, like I could say I'm Miss Tim all day, but my pronouns are she and her. Right. Because of the miss, the inflection of the miss. It's the same way. And 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 here's where we're going to go a little bit left, but I'm going to steer us back to the conversation. Okay. It's the same way when we were having that conversation when the, when the trans people were very angry about Miss Monique saying I, it took a transgender. Mm -hmm. And the transgender women made this about them when this was a not when it was not about them it was about a situation that happened between two friends and mm -hmm. that and she was standing on business letting the people outside of the transgender community know that you may use the term or the inflection transgender as a bad thing but mm -hmm. this person stood in the gap for me right so as she continued when she was having the conversation with shannon sharp who still has me blocked <laughs> she continued to have the conversation and affirmed me mm -hmm. by still using the pronouns she, her, hers, and also followed it up with that is my sister. Mm -hmm. When she could have easily said a transgender and he, he is a man, but he dressed like a woman and he, she didn't do any of that. Mm -hmm. She because she completely affirmed me in the in, in that entire conversation. Right. So again, when we get down here to Miss Netta, Miss Netta takes on the 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 prefix miss and the suffix netta, which are both feminine. feminine. So it leads me in any natural stance to have the conversation. I don't even have an HSBCU degree, <laughs> but I'm talking here. Okay. It leads me to have a natural stance to say she and her. Correct. But when she goes forth and says things like, play the video again, Mo. Okay. Here we go. This is my way. I'm not no transsexual. I ain't no whatever the else community or whatever they got going on. I'm just myself. And if y'all people know me and y'all people from my hometown, y'all would know I never, ever, and still never went outside dressed like no woman. I never and they and when I get my makeup done and stuff here and, and put on my clothes to, to do my skits and stuff, nobody ever seen me in public. <laughs> So what I hear Netta saying is, if she ain't doing no skit, they, she dressing. If they're not doing a skit, oh, so she don't she don't go by she. Or you just? I'm asking. I'm so, saying they right, but I'm saying is she okay with she? But you're is, saying but what they're are, saying is that they don't identify as a woman at all, and that they don't just because they're putting on women's clothing doesn't mean that their identity is a woman, and they are not even identifying as trans. Comment small, please. I'm just confused and I'm under the, I'm under the umbrella. And I'm just saying because she's sitting there with these full nails on and I'm not and I know that's a gender that's a gender construct. I'm not I I get it. You ain't got to message me. <laughs> but I'm just saying what I heard Netta say is when she ain't or he or, or, they, they right because obviously it's she and her and him and his at yeah. the same time. <laughs> See that's what I'm saying. I just won't even talk to Netta. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not even talking to you because it's just too much. Like what I heard Netta just say was when they're not doing a skit, they're not dressed as a woman. So what you wearing if you're not dressed like a woman? Men's clothes? They got non-binary clothes? So people are saying, so it's basically 
It's basically drag that she's doing. Cross dressing. Cro yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Girl, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> I don't want to talk about them, they, her, she, him, Netta. No more today. They say they say she wears unisex clothes. What's unisex clothes? Jogging pants? <laughs> <laughs> Jogging pants and t-shirts? But when we see Netta, we see them <laughs> and in, Crocs. in their makeup. Because Netta also said that they don't go outside in their hometown in, 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 in women's clothing and in makeup. But when we've been seeing Netta lately, we've been seeing them wear women's clothing and we've been seeing them wear makeup and lipstick and all this stuff that is contributing to the social construct of women and carrying in purses we don't see charles wearing that so it goes to the social construct of charles is the man if you looked at that relationship from a social construct construct aspect you'll see that charles is the man and netta is the woman and now, netta is bringing the dinner which is a traditional role of a social construct Correct. Of, of what a woman is supposed Correct. to do. Correct. So is Netta trying to confuse us? <laughs> is Netta trying to get us canceled? Because, bitch, I got a headache. And I'm part of the community. Welcome to season two of Telling Our Stories, but this season is a little different. We're coming to you all the way from Paris, France. I decided to move to Paris briefly to learn the language. Now, while my plan was to immerse myself in French culture to learn the language, God had a bigger, brighter plan for this trip. This time around, I sit down with black, queer men and women across several sexual identities. Now make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss an episode. This is Telling Our Stories, the Paris edition. Yeah. Craig, I think that that's a that, that Miss Netta is a candidate for the Telling Our Story series. Well, what 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 epi what, what what story is is he or they gonna be telling? They're unlocking the mystery of Netta. I've been wanting to do a conversation with trans women and non-binary people because we're two different people. Trans women and non-binary people are two different identities, Craig. Thanks. Girl, my bangs. <laughs> That's all I know. Oh, Mo, you had to pee? Yeah. Okay. We were just waiting for you to come back. Really? We knew you held your dick for a few minutes. Go ahead and put on the keyboard. I washed my hair. It's okay. I saw the napkin. Mo, do you smell this, this faint smell of a goosey? Right. <laughs> Let me smell your finger, too. <laughs> you left-handed or right-handed? Bags are usually messy. Well, which hand did you just use now? Okay, okay, let me smell your finger. Uh, <laughs> don't do it, Craig. <laughs> do it. Come over here. Don't Why are you being messy right now? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Have, I don't need. I don't do that. Now you saw the video. You know what uh, he cut. <laughs> he is a Malibu. He he is not a peekaboo Ken. <laughs> he got a turtleneck. No, that's peekaboo. No, oh. you know like a peekaboo Barbie. Uh -huh. That's he's not a peekaboo Ken. <laughs> All right, what is the next thing we talking about here? Yes, because we did we did we completely finish with Tiger? I mean, did y'all? Because they have... said that that's not Tiger. They said that they're in that green that that's not Tiger. They said the one the black and white is Tiger. I don't know. It's all AI, but I know that that picture that I just showed you. Yeah, that was sent to me by a good good friend. <laughs> 
my god a good good judy sent me that mm. i just want to know is it real because these men is getting real dusty you mean these pictures talk, yeah that yes it's the green one for me this has to be ai it's that for me yeah, well, I mean, I mean, well, you but me. would you take a picture like that no why you have the yams i do not oh you do <laughs> <laughs> you definitely do you have the yam no i'm good i'm okay, those yams. I'm okay. I, I don't i don't need to i don't need to pose like that okay well, let's go on. Let's move on. Let's let's get out of gender identity. Yeah, please. Because <laughs> I don't need the faggot to be canceled. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I wanted to play this one, but it's a five minute video. Well, let's go because we have five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How you doing today? Hey. Let me see your phone real quick. What's your name? Let me see your other phone real quick. What's your name? Tina who? Okay. What did you? What name did you come here under? Um. My name. Why? You came under here? Are you sure about that? Mm -mm. What's going on? Okay, go ahead and stand up for me real quick. Recognizing red flags, the officer took swift action, placing her in handcuffs and escorting her out of the dental office. You got ID on you? Return to four in the jail. Colleges one four nine zero three. Beginning one four nine zero three. Two thirty three radio. This is your purse. Yeah, my phone. Show me out at 1950 West Exchange Place, reference follow-up. Show me the Georgia Center for Child Advocacy. Nah, that's coming with us. I'll explain everything to you. Let's keep on going to the car real quick. You got any weapons on you? No. You got anything sharp on you? No, I don't have anything on me. All right, face that way. Make sure that there's no weapons on you, okay? Hang tight. I just need you to stand right here. I appreciate it, right here. Oh. Not yet. I'm good. No weapons. No. All right, go ahead and have a seat for me real quick. All I right. just caught a bed. I just, it's just something stupid I did. So it's Well, hang tight real quick. Okay? Oh, stop talking. All right, I'm going to read something to you. Instead of getting in the right position, you have the right to remain silent. The suspect denied any credit card misuse, insisting on paying in cash. The officer, puzzled by the contradictory statements, pressed further. The truth began to unfold as the woman admitted to purchasing a person's entire profile, complete with personal information, from a mutual acquaintance. Do you understand each of these rights as I've explained to you? Yes, ma'am. Having these rights in mind, would you like to talk? Go ahead. That was a yes? All right, I just had to get that verbal yes. Okay. All right, so we're here because they informed us that somebody supposedly was using somebody's credit card. No, I didn't use nobody's credit card. Okay. I didn't use their credit card. You said somebody's name. Okay. And I didn't, I paid for it myself. I haven't used a credit card. I found that with the victim on Marlin Drive at that address. I bought it from a girl up here, the profile from a girl in Atlanta. And that's it. Okay. I haven't used any credit. I I paid with my own money. I I went to the bank this morning and got my money out to pay them today. How much did you owe them today? I owed them $8,000 today. Okay. And I went to the bank and got the money out to come here. So you, you never pay with a credit card? No, I never paid with a credit card. I've never paid with a credit card. So if you was paying cash, why you just didn't use your name? Because she used like a profile, like a care credit or something she did. It's, I used the girl's care credit. She gave me, she used it. I didn't. Who used it? The girl Mary. She used me, she put me as an authorized dealer on her care credit. Who's Mary? Sloan. What does she look like? I met her up here. I just bought the care credit from I don't know, ma'am. I don't know about this. I just bought it because I wanted my teeth fixed. That's you it. got her number in your phone? No, I don't have her number. I don't so have how did you get in touch with her? One of my homeboys hooked me up with him. So you never actually saw this person no. or, or talked to this person? No. Do you have any of the messages between you and your homeboy to prove that the one who gave it to you? I don't know. 68255. I'm trying to work with you. Man. I, I would like to establish and improve your story, but you gotta give me something. So, do you have the messages between you and Scott? Um, All right, so let's backtrack. Did a male or female sell your profile? Male. Listen, keep it a buck with me. We already having this conversation. Did a male or female sell you this profile? All right, a female. Who are you, female? No, I don't. They got the number. No, the first number that you gave it to me. What first number? I don't know. They caught. I don't know. I don't know. I just used the profile. I just bought it from somebody. 
Well, I want the person who's selling the profiles. Do you got the number in your phone who sold the profile? So how did you make contact to be able to buy the profile? All right, what's the dude's name? Hey, you go to check and I'll read it out to you. Who, oh, ma'am? I really don't know the girl now. Um, I don't know. I don't really know them. I just know that they... All right, what came included in purchasing this profile? What no, What came included in the profile? Do you have the ID on you? Thank you. So let's start small, all right? I'm Detective Lloyd. You bought the person's profile, right? And you used it to... What else have you used it for? Nothing else. I've never used this my first time, I promise. Okay. So why did you use it to make the, the dental? Because I, I didn't have... Put, I wanted to get my teeth in, and they gave me a deal. I paid a um, thousand dollars for it. Okay. And you said you haven't used it for anything else. No, ma'am. I swear I have. So you don't use it for the dentist? Yes, ma'am. I have. Okay. Did you open any credit cards? Hey, Trey. I swear to God, I ain't did nothing else with it. Anything with it? I've been Iraq. Can you check and draw for me, please? I have my own money. I have money on my own. I just called a deal. Like okay. I do, do taxes. I do. I have my own money. I just left the bank and got out, got the twelve thousand to come here. Like, I don't. I don't. This. I wouldn't let her nowhere near my motherfucking taxes. Great. First of all, let's start out with this, okay? What is your credit score? Seven twenty three, somewhere around there. Mine is eight hundred. Mm -hmm. Man, my shit was tore up a few years ago. Oh, mine too. Listen, ago. bitch, I remember my credit was three, three, three something, three thirty. Oh, bitch, terrible. my credit score is eight hundred. Right. The lowest I have is a seven ninety six. Mm -hmm. So this is not any shame, because listen, it's not. My shit was towed down from from the floor down. Mine too. So we're not shaming anybody that has, because I've had a three hundred and thirty credit score. I'm in complete fear of people like this who buy profiles. Right. And it is a credit privacy number. That's what CPN is for those of you that are asking. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a social security number. Yeah, we need to put oh, it up. Oh yeah, there. you can put yeah. that up. Um, yeah. so let's look at the definition of a CPN before we start. A CPN is a nine-digit number that's formatted just like a social security number. It may also be called a credit privacy number credit profile number, or credit protection number. Companies that sell CPNs to consumers market them as a way to hide a bad credit history or a bankruptcy. That's what Tasha K got. <laughs> or oh, she definitely going to be running off CPNs, bitch, in the near future. I'm sure of it. How else is she going to feed those fucking goddamn children? <laughs> How else the fuck that bitch going to feed those children? But I'll go back to that in the middle of the rest of this conversation. But my thing is this, right? Um, somebody asking, is it illegal to have? What I have heard, and this is just me because, you know, we are fags. <laughs> F-A-Gs and P-H-A-Gs at the same time. <laughs> we, yes. And Mo is definitely a P-H-A-G, but he's also Nigerian. Mm. Is, wait, hold on. We that? already know how y'all do. Yeah. And Nigerians don't take this... Please don't. But we it's already not just Nigerians, though. We already see what Simon doing. We know, we'll but y'all stay in somebody's inbox. We'll talk about, talk about Simon in a minute. We'll talk about Simon in a minute, okay? <laughs> but, bitch, we have done some fraudulent shit. I know I have. I have written checks, made the bitch. I wrote I, checks, credit cards. cards. Did, I, have done I even did things. fuck with counterfeit money. No, I haven't did that. I didn't go that far. But I definitely have written. But this was back when I was in my teeth, when I was learning. Because somebody, some other faggy. Somebody what? Some other faggy. F-A-G-G-Y. Mm -hmm. Some other <laughs> faggy <laughs> was teaching me how to do these things and so in order to like try to come up. But once I learned what it was, whatever, and then I got my credit and my shit into a space where I didn't with that motherfucking shit. I protect my shit at all costs. Mm -hmm. At all costs. And so because I protect my shit at all costs, when I see things like this, I don't have no, no motherfucking mercy for that. Because a bitch can have my file. And I'm definitely pressing charge. Oh, I'm pressing charge. I don't give a, first of all, bitch, you up there, you better be glad those people had to begin shaving your teeth. Because <laughs> then you'd have left out there with them little them, daggers in your <laughs> them little daggers coming out of your gums. <laughs> Looking like a great white. Right. <laughs> Looking like Jaws. <laughs> but my thing is this. When I first saw this story, 
What's interesting is how now, now when I was doing all this scamming shit, I write about it in my first book, Words Never Spoken. But when I was doing all that foolishness, I was at Hampton. You were trying to pay those student loans. Out. No, 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 no. I was trying to be the best dressed male on campus. Oh, so you're being real, a real fat. A real fat. Okay. And I was voted best dressed male in my senior class. For free. Well, Correct. Well, it benefited though. No. Nah. It wasn't worth it though. <laughs> but my thing is this. When I looked at those comments and people were like, oh, well, the dentist's office didn't have to call the, the police on them. First of all, so what you're trying to say, the dentist's office should take the L? Right. And then people were like, well, they weren't even uh, porcelain. They were, they were uh, what did I say? They were composites. Illumineers. I'm like, who cares? What if that dentist office got caught holding the bag, right? Suppose they turned in that paperwork to Care Credit or whoever the fuck it is. And then later on, they say, oh, no, ma'am, this was uh, identity theft. And then your dental practice got to eat that cost. My thing is, when I was doing all that scamming and carrying on, I was tearing up them, them, them businesses, them corporate companies. I wasn't trying to get no little small. <laughs> I was trying to get them companies that could write that shit off on their, 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 their insurance. Yeah, FDIC, because it's all right. FDIC, honey, all of it. But at the end of the day, I think from a consumer standpoint of me, this somebody getting a hold of something, my social, or sometimes those CPNs are dead people's. Old social security number because social security numbers ain't just made up. They be they belong to something somewhere. Right. That number has belonged to something somewhere, some entity, something. Yeah. It's a lot of girls I know right now, girl, they got their whole get their children got bad credit because of the things that they put, you know, in, because of the stuff that they put in their name. Homes, apartments, cars, lights, phone, vans. Some of y'all got your children's uh, you know, vans. Yeah. Ice cream trucks, you know. Some of y'all got your electricity. They, can't even get they, they motherfucking children and grandchildren credit is fucked up. Some of y'all got your children. <laughs> they, they not even children social security number. Old. Some of y'all got your children social security number connected to a utility bill right now. And girl, and then still know that somebody is my line suspended, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Do y'all see what just happened right there? No, I, it was already happening when I was saying. <laughs> But yet on the line reading to everybody else, bitch. But they they children's credit is fucked up. They grandchildren's credit is fucked up because they done funneled everything through their name. Right. And again, I am not sitting here saying that what I did was the lesser. I'm sorry, the lesser of the two evils. I'm because I, I'm not saying that because I did it with big companies and stuff. I did it with banks. I'm not saying that it was right. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it at all. If I could go back and tell the old me, I would I would not have done that. But what I'm saying is, we I've looked at these people in these comments talking about, well, uh, they ain't had to call the police on them. They could have just told them, man, we can't accept this. No, uh-uh. Call the police on her. Because if that was my shit, or if that was your credit, because that shit takes years to clean up. Yes, it does, to come off. And not only to just come off, but then when you go to try to apply for, you try to go apply for, a car, get a car or buy a house, or get an apartment. You can't, because your shit is all tied up with some other person's foolishness. Because they over here want to get teeth in their mouth, and they walk around here with those big-ass goddamn fucking goddamn chicken Marshmallows. Marshmallows in their fucking mouth, and you over here <laughs> paying for the marshmallows in their mouth. And you can't you can't get nothing, because your shit was good, and they done went and fucked your shit up. Trying to get them big-ass Nene Leaks teeth. <laughs> And it's like, girl, that shit don't even look real. And my thing is, it it's don't. like, it's like it they don't. sitting over here. I seen a lot of the girl, and I seen a lot of the girls. And this no shade to the girls, to the girl, but everybody ain't scamming out here. No, everybody ain't scamming. So when you find that, when you find the, right. the path or the right in it, not everybody ain't scamming. I know, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> but when you find the right and straight and narrow path, you feel me? And then you really learn how that shit go. But here's the here's another gag of the whole shit. Just to gag it all up, mm -hmm. we learned that shit from the white folks. The white folks do this. Trump, how many CPNs Trump got, bitch? Girl, Letitia ain't playing with his ass. How many CPNs do Trump have? How many? These people are funneling their whole lives through other people's identities. When they had put that lady in the back of that police car. 
and her leg was sitting out, hanging out the side. <laughs> and she was like, ma'am, I ain't do nothing about somebody profile. I got it from Mary. <laughs> I got it from Mary. I'm like, Lady, leave my mama day out of this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got this from Mary. Mary Salone. Bitch, leave well, my mama. Mary. Well, who she is then? <laughs> I don't know. I got her information from somebody. That's when you knew she was lying. She got the rock in that foot hanging out that car. Ma'am, I ain't do that. I got the money in my pocket. Well, girl, you should have laid in with that. <laughs> right. First of all, if you knew you had to go out there to steal it and you had the money, girl, you should have went with your first because because first of all, if I'm going out there with a with, with a care credit or a CPN or anything fraudulent, bitch, I'm going in there with the full confidence, bitch, that I'm going to walk out of there with. I'm not going to get none of my money. So that was the spirit of the Lord telling you, girl, go up here and get this money and use this on your teeth. Pay, do this on your teeth. Go use your own money or whoever money it is from those tax returns that you got, because we are in tax season. Yes, we are. So you need to be signing up for pay for your say, and you got to do this foolishness. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, bitch, you, we are in tax season. So this means that she don't, and she, for her to scream out her mouth, I do taxes. Now, who you think going to give you their sociable security number? <laughs> after all, that's carrying on. Uh, after all, right. She may have stole somebody's, I do taxes. I didn't went over there with my uh, W twos and ten ninety nines, and I'm thinking you're gonna do my taxes, and you didn't. And you up there getting veneer, veneer. <laughs> you over there getting twelve thousand dollar teeth, bitch. And I'm over here like, where's my refund, girl? In my mouth, right? <laughs> and see, that just shows the power of influence in terms of social media. Like when I look at people who go out here and get these big ass teeth. Yeah. Or they going out here getting these BBLs and all of this other stuff that they see on 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 social media. My you question, risking it all. Yes. My question becomes like, how much of that was your decision and how much of that was influence? Were you influenced by what you saw? You know what I mean? Like people flying. And sometimes sometimes people don't even need to do any of that. They right. Look, look great. That's what I'm saying. They're so impressionable and they're so they're so consumed by what they say on, so, on social media. Like you can't compare the best of yourself to other people, yeah. right? Because you obviously you can see somebody over there taking somebody else's C CPN or or somebody's credit profile going to get teeth to look like somebody that they don't even look like them. True, and you can't even close your mouth full completely. But she, I'm telling you, God, God was with her on so many ways. She just ignored. It. She didn't know. She really need to be thanking God that they had found and screwed up her teeth down, bitch, and then called the police. She better be glad. <laughs> Cause, bitch, let me tell you something. I'm a, I am a trans, transgender woman, but before I was that, I was a faggy, and not <laughs> just a faggy, bitch. I was a tranny, and bitch, I have seen so many trannies wake up at the Florida Center for cosmetic surgery, bitch. Cause I'm from Florida, and I have seen so many girls. I've heard the stories of so many girls waking up at the Florida Center for cosmetic surgery with brand new silicone breasts on their chest. And handcuffed to the bed because in the process of them finding out during the surgery and it was done that the thing came back out that it was fraud. Mm, mm, mm. So now you got to convalesce over at the jail. You have a whole handcuff while you're handcuffed to the bed and they have put this stuff in your chest and you wake up from the anesthesia and the police are over here. Ma'am, sir. Them and they. Daquan. <laughs> Daquan, all right. Daquan Jackson, okay. We need for you to, when you get situated, you know you'll be. We're going to be warding you in Ward D because it's called Ward D. You'll be going in Ward D. You and your extra bandages. Daquan, hi. <laughs> you need to get you some extra bandages because you're going to be. You're not going to be able to get to the infirmary in jail. Daquan. <laughs> I don't understand. These painkillers that you own, these are going to be the last that you get because you're going to hurt this out. <laughs> right. You're under arrest. Mm, mm, mm. That's wild. That is crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all. This ain't nobody told me this. Bitch, we used to sit. Those girls used to do this. Do, I don't understand how people are still doing the care credit stunt anyway. Care credit is a stunt to get the girls. Listen. And instead of the girls going to really get some care for their credit, they going up there getting titties. What they get? Titties. And st girl, save your money. If you suck enough dick and save your money. Start a business. So, <laughs> be yourself, bitch. Stop 
your pussy up, honey. Get a job. Own a business, bitch. Suck a dick. And I say this from a place of, and it used to always be the girls that used to read us, us prostitutes. It used to be the stunt girls. Because, you know, there, there's levels to being in the community. You don't know? Baby, them L.A. girls, they were into insurance fraud. Those New York there. girls, too. There's levels. To, and them goddamn us Florida girls down there. Bitch, was, 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 I'm telling you, Craig, listen to me. I know you're looking at the screen. But I hear, you. hear your sister. <laughs> Bitch, those girls used to, we used to hear the terror, the terror dome stories of those girls waking up right after Anna, coming out of anesthesia, handcuffed to the bed. Bitch, because they had just got their new boobs and no and new nose put together from the Florida Center for Cosmetic Surgery in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Mm. My God. And then the girls be walking around feeling fab and fabulous and, and, and looking down on the prostitutes, girl, and they stunt girls. Girl, you we're both in a, we're both in a hustle game. So you can't be a stunt girl. I don't any girl that's a stunt girl that's driving Rolls Royces and Bentleys and Benzes, and you're doing this off of someone else's credit, someone else's profile, someone else's thing. You're not fab to me it's at all. You never have been fab to me. I've never looked up to those girls. They've never been fab to me. They've been girl. Oh, get your money, girl. But bitch, you can't ever look down on me. You're a thief. You are a thief. A velour. <laughs> Since you came from France, velour. Velour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but when I went to LA, like the Atlanta kids, and I don't know about today, but the Atlanta kids were just doing writing checks and credit card stuff. When I went to LA, them motherfuckers was doing Aflex. Insurance? So Aflex, for those who don't know, it's like a subsidy. So for example, let's just say you go out on disability or something like the doctor sends you home and you may have a subsidy that, you know, because you may not have a lot of sick pay, for example. But then you got Aflax, Aflax, you know, that duck commercial. Uh -huh, that's what I was like, insurance. Right. So you may have this as a subsidy and they will pay you while you're out, right? Because you may not have a lot of sick time. Baby, when I tell you, I knew some gays <laughs> that worked at a doctor's office. They would installed that doctor's stamp, stamper with his signature. Oh. And they had the forms to send into the Aflax. So they would sign the doctor's signature with this stamper. And then they would submit the paperwork to Aflax. And them kids would still be going to work every day and getting the Aflax check. Now you're supposed to get the Aflax check because you ain't clear it. So you're going to show up like you don't know what's going on? And they'd be giving very much so. Now you, you can't do this very long. Like if you just want to get an extra couple checks or Christmas is coming or I'm like, bitch, are you, bitch, that's federal. That's a federal offense. You'll be get two double ch two checks. Them kids were, bitch. Some listen. I've been in Craig, rooms, and you don't want a minute of those New York City girls. Listen, I've been in rooms with some queens. That makes me so nervous, bitch. They, I be nervous. They, I think gonna steal my fingerprint. G yes. <laughs> Them girls so good. They steal your motherfucking fingerprint. Yes, bitch. they are. Bitch, you better not whisper your your first last name and, and let them get wind, wind of your middle. <laughs> There was a time I didn't even use my debit or credit card. And there was a time that I didn't even use my debit or credit card in the punk bar. Bitch, let me explain something to you. I'm so glad that the girls uh, came up with these cards that have no numbers and letters on them. Listen, because yeah. them kids would dig down in that trash can and get those carbon copies. <laughs> where, where, my, where my 90s people that had credit cards? Them kids would go, that, go in that trash can and get those carbons? Baby, they, Bitch, they would have a car in your name two weeks later. <laughs> two weeks, girl. That's too long, girl. Right. Girl, be, if your credit was good, they'll be pulling out the lot, honey. With a, <laughs> you like, damn, I couldn't even qualify for that. Right. You wouldn't know what hit you. <laughs> they would come through like a thief in the night. Bitch, <laughs> and broad daylight. Okay. Girl, so, you know, again, in this situation, how do we feel about her? I see a lot of people saying, well, the the the, the, uh, the, the dentist, she overreacted, and this thing no, overreacted, no. and this did this and other. It's like, girl, put yourself in the shoes of that this is that this CPN For in sure. some way and suffering belong to you, your mother. You, mm -hmm. you don't work hard from coming. We don't work hard from being faggies and pumps <laughs> to have our credit scores, bitches, sevens and eight hundreds and shit mm -hmm. like that. To be able to buy homes and legitimate mm -hmm. homes to, and cars. To get my, and this, to get my car, car. Yes. To get my uh, green card so I can get my social security card. He said a green card. Yeah. 
I thought he was born here. Mm-mm. Why that nigga need a green card if he was born here? Well, we his stories ain't <laughs> his stories. His stories are not adding there the fuck that, up. They go there for one night. That nigga just said the other day when I was here that he was born here. <laughs> Kayla, if you're watching, please pull that clip and send right. it to us in the DMs. Cause there was that four one nine. That nigga just said the other week. Oh, Lua. Now he got a green card. Speaking of green cards, let's talk about Simon and Portia. <laughs> Child, uh, who did not see that wedding, that motherfucking shit coming to an end? Who did not see it? Portia is the bad. I keep telling, even though Portia looked like a pretty version of My Little Pony, uh, that is a bad ass motherfucking bitch. That bitch is bad. She bad. That bitch is bad. And every time I see that motherfucking woman, that bitch have be late. Yes, God. Now, she may can't read or spell English, bitch. Or add or subtract. Or add or subtract. But that bitch is uh, that bitch is gorgeous. That bitch is sickening. And she may even think that the Underground Railroad is a real train. Correct. She may think <laughs> it's, a, it's an Amtrak at night. But, bitch, <laughs> she may not know who Harriet Tubman was. <laughs> Well, God damn it, she ain't walking nowhere because that bitch bad is going to get her in the back of a black car. <laughs> right. Because that bitch is bad. Now, do you think that this is like a ploy? Because she is going back to the housewives. He he is in some sort of... 419. Right. So do you think this is something to kind of... Why are you looking at me, Maddie? Why are you not looking at me? I saw it. I can see your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you were paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody said I bet 15 months is right outside of their prenup. Yes. And here's the gag. I would have thought, I don't even, it's, he can't get his green card because he of the fraud. Yeah. It's not so just fraud. Would you not think that he that he was well, Chi talking about West 419? Xmo. So <laughs> Xmo West 419. Hmm. I mean, it just means you know, right? People that people that do what people do in, uh, to get money. Nigerian <laughs> people. No, it's not no, Nigerian. Nigerian people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Nigerian code word. So don't don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. It's a Nigerian code word for fraud for one night. But it, it doesn't just mean Nigerians, though. Right. It could be anybody. But it's a code word in Nigeria. <laughs> 419. Mm. You know, J- Janet Jackson left her marriage just uh, outside of that prenup, too. What, did she gather any of the coin? Oh, I yeah, think she, she was did. supposed to get like 50 million, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, because she, she, bore, she, bore him a, she bore him a son. That's why. What, what was that word, Mo? She bore. bore. Oh, okay. Well, you did, and then you cleaned it up. I'm not wearing a mirror for your device. I know what I heard you say. You caught it. There is no miracle ear attached to me. Is that Janet? Yeah. See how you didn't hear me while y'all was talking? Right. I didn't even hear you. Let me see what she got. Why are you doing her like this, man? <laughs> Why are you doing her like that, man? That's how she sounds. Uh, it says she got a hundred million dollars. Oh. Come on, baby. Right. <laughs> But I was hearing that she got the divorce because he couldn't get us. Uh, he couldn't come into the country. That's what I was hearing. Well, because he was going to be sent away. <laughs> First yeah. of all, we knew Janet Jackson was 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 get, gathering up her coin like that bitch because when she had on all that unrevealing stuff, she all was, that garb, that garb, honey, wrapped up in those sheets and cloaks and stuff like that. Girl on stage giving <laughs> giving the Aru Arabian Night sheet goddess. <laughs> With the, all we saw were her eyes, girl. She was up there dancing. I'm like, girl, where is Janet? Right. She had to play the part. She mm. did. Mm-hmm. She played the part until it was no longer until the roles have changed. <laughs> and I think she wanted a kid too. You know what I mean? And that was her opportunity. 
She definitely wasn't having with that little imp, J- Jermaine Dupree. What's wrong with Jermaine? I just told you he was an imp. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she may have gotten about 200 million. I can't remember. Wait, 200? It said 100 million if they were together for five years and another 100 if she had a kid. From the clubs, yep, I know. I, I never really, I don't know. I love Janet, but I, I lost understanding after control. <laughs> this is a story about control. After control, I just was like, okay, I, I was squinting while I was listening to the. <laughs> now I did like some songs. No, I didn't say I didn't like them. Oh. I said I lost understanding. Oh, you mean you couldn't understand audibly? Yes, you I was, couldn't understand. I what started she was squinting like what's. Well, I told you the other week, I couldn't understand what Tony Braxton was saying after she stopped working with Babyface. Tony Braxton has an autoimmune disease. That ain't got nothing to do with her being audible. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, that ain't got, but then she needs to stop recording albums. It could, it could impair the speech, Myrtle. Don't do that. Y'all be sitting over here. These people be really suffering. Is that really, for real? That's actually one of my favorite songs. I get so <laughs> Love. Oh, my, 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 baby face. Don't leave me in all this pain. Don't leave me out in the rain. Come back. Bring back to smile, come and take these tears away. I need your arms to hold me now. The knives are so ungone. Bring back those nights when I held you beside me. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo this Hurt your cause When you're out And walk down my life Unwise Tears I cry so many Many nights Unbreak my heart My heart <laughs> Now he enunciates a lot better than than Tony. <laughs> oh my God, that wasn't Tony. They've been Tony, right? <laughs> Tony, 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 right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you saw how the dress kept turning. Uh, so that was Tony, 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 T O N E T O N I T O N Y. Correct. Tony, Tony, Tony. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, that's who that was right there. But it gave, you know. Right. Those backgrounds were nice. Yeah. yeah he did his thing. <clears throat> um, so are you surprised, Greg, about this Porsche divorce? I never thought she was in love with that I never man. thought that either. And nobody watching thought this. And then she's back on the housewives now. That's definitely storyline. Yeah. Bitch, did you see the line the cast lineup? No, who's on there? Girl. Nene's not going back, right? Girl, you can listen. Here's where here's where the colors mess up at, right? They told them people. She told them people that you people said that man was racist. But do you want to go back? That don't even make sense. You said he was racist. You also said that he, um, uh, you said lots of things, disparaging things. You said he did coke. You said all these things, and you know that that's your boss, and you want to tiptoe back over there. Now I don't have no personal egregious. Egre- what is it? Egregious. 
Grie grievances <laughs> or any egregious feelings. Right. There we go. There we go. I, I need to get it right. I'm trying because I'm trying to channel my HSBC. <laughs> you gonna have people really saying HSBC. HBCU. <laughs> egregious feelings uh -huh. towards uh -huh. Nene Leeds. But mm -hmm. the facts are the facts. And the fact is, you're black. When you were on that show, Nene, you got opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. And you got those opportunities because you were on that show. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think happened for Nene Lanithia Leaks. Mm. Did you ever go to the Lanithia? No. <laughs> Here's what I felt happened. And this is just my opinion. And then my opinion is not a fact. Mm -hmm. And I'm not reading Nene. I think what happened was you became bigger than the than the than the creator. And we didn't know you prior to the Housewives of Atlanta. You are forever a housewife of Atlanta, even, the, even though you're not there. You're not Lanithia the singer. You're not Lanithia the actor. You're not Lanithia well, she the... she did act. You're not Lanithia the things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We are. No, you're Lanithia the housewife of Atlanta that did these things, that, that career branched off into those things. You got on that. You got on the show. You got lazy on the show. And was very much so. Oh, girl, I don't need it. Girl, I ain't come here. Girl, let's do these scenes. I ain't going because I'm going to go do all of this. Mm -hmm. Hence, again, I don't give a fuck how big I get. That size or star, I'm going to come down and get on my motherfucking YouTube channel and I'm going to stream to where the source started. Mm -hmm. You hoes not going to try to trick me out of my fucking bag. How y'all be tricking those other people out and they be good. They leave YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and all that stuff or whatever. And they be like, well, I'm this now. Yes, I am all of those things now, but I'm definitely going to slide right now. I'm going to get my fat ass up when I get ready. <laughs> I'm going to put on some lipstick, hair, eyelashes, bitch, and I'm going to come downstairs in my basement, in mine, mm -hmm. in, in either one of the houses that I own. Mm -hmm. Again, let's back that up. <laughs> in either one of the houses that I own, I'm going to come down in the basement and I'm going to turn my motherfucking camera on, bitch, and I'm going to say, is it on? Is it on? Is this bitch recording? Because mm -hmm. I am never going to re re forget... The core that started it. Now I don't have to do pornography anymore because, honey, bitch, that's not a that's not a person, place, or thing. It's not a noun to me anymore. So I don't have to do any of that stuff anymore. I've branched. I, I left that alone. But if the times got hard, hard enough, bitch, you best believe that I have knee pads in all closets in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always go away left? Oh God. Bitch, I have knee pads <laughs> all closets in my motherfucking house. Uh, oh God. I have knee pads in each closet in this house, should That's the time right. ever had to come. That's right. Bitch, and when you always be talking, so what will Beyonce do? Beyonce always in her roots. And this is why I cuss you hoes out, bitch. When you hoes get on my motherfucking, when you hoes play on my top, I'm not too big to get down in the trenches and tell you hoes to suck my dick. Bitch, I'm not too big that I don't give a fuck what network or what place I occupy, bitch. You hoes step on my toe, I'm going to let you fucking know. And so when people <laughs> be saying, oh, well, bitch, you don't need to be doing this because you're doing this, you above it. No, I am not. That's right. No, I am not. Because if I was above it, you bitches would be somewhere trying to take my... That's what y'all hoes be trying to do. You be, be trying to take my spot. Take my job. You hoes would love to hold hands, bitch, and surround something, bitch, that y'all think this that they giving me this job so that you can take it from me. You can't take nothing, bitch, that I sit up and, and own. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave this place and go on a hiatus when I get ready and go work all those other jobs. And I'm going to come right back the fuck home and have my motherfucker say. And when I go out there and I work those other jobs, I'm not going to get on, get on. Yes, there are things that has happened in my career with networks, places, and things that I'm not going to get on my thing and be like, girl, them pussy ass hoes did such and right. such. We may talk about it amongst us. Right. But that's where it stays. I many things with a fool is not one of those. Mm -hmm. I have occupied spaces that I have wanted to read the people to the floor, but I had some coof about myself, honey. What you have? Coof. <laughs> you can't tell if she didn't just say something. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what you have, girl? Coof. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh God. Cool about my motherfucking self enough <laughs> to know. Now, if not, if they were doing something that I need to speak out where they were sexually assaulting me or they put me in mm -hmm. uncompromising position, but there is no way that I would petition to return. That's the thing. There's no way that I would petition to return. Okay. You said coof because you can't spell it either. Correct. Coof. Because <laughs> I couldn't. But th th there's no way that I would be out there put petitioning to return back to a space, especially right. if there is a place where someone had done me wrong or committed heinous acts against my character or have put me in uncompromising positions where I had to bow down to people that I'm like, nah, ain't, there's no way I'm going to return. It ain't. Right. When I get on the motherfucking camera and I start busting holes in their head, I ain't, I'm not coming. There's no coming back to that. Because now it just looks like it was all a farce, right? You you went on this whole campaign talking about, you know, they were racist and, you know, th th there were disparities in the way that they treated the Housewives of Atlanta versus all of the other ones. And now you want to go back? So it, it just kind of makes it all look like, so did you just make this up? You just wanted us to believe that? And, yes. Uh, 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 Anime said, did, did she try to sue them? Yes. So why would those people bring right. them back? Yeah, she well, tried to sue them. Like, bitch, you, you fooled me once. Bitch, you ain't going to have a chance to hit If right. I was the network, like, what? <laughs> right. Bitch, didn't you just say we did this, this, and the other, and all this type of stuff? You want to come back? We still under the same management. We're not under new management. Mickey Howard. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> she thought that the clothes sound on the door she was gonna have okay. to tear it down no bitch well, they under the same management mm -hmm. Elise Nielsen you're gonna have to come back from the beginning babe we're not, we not taking this back you got to come on time you got to come on time I gotta pee can I have a moment please Craig take this take it over honey. <laughs> <laughs> take the take the take the hymns well what else we got to talk about there's more stuff is it yes there's something that's, there's something very bad that we need to talk about, oh. and I want to save it to the end. But you know, ooh, oh. I've had enough to drink. Uh, mm. Well, listen, don't forget to sign up for Pay for Your Sad. I got to tell you all about that. It is an amazing way to make money. We wouldn't just tell you that just to tell you. It is an amazing way. Don't forget to go on over to CraigTheWriterStewart.com. You can purchase autographed copies of my books, one, two, three, or four. I think I'm out of four, but one, two, or three. And um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I have anything else right there. I thought, oh, the Wendy Williams documentary. I'm gonna oh. wait for Madison though. But yeah, I am looking forward to seeing that. Um, I think it starts think, tonight, right? Oh, somebody in the comments was saying that it starts tomorrow. Oh, it starts tomorrow. That's what some people in the uh, comments were saying. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I thought it was today that it starts tonight. But maybe it is tomorrow. Um. But yeah, I oh, want to see that. He said it's tonight. It is tonight? Okay. okay. And then her niece was on um, The View. To talk other, about it? To talk about it. They were, she was talking about the conservatory and how they have Wendy's money um, locked up. I, I still don't understand that whole thing, but I think that's something that Wendy put into, in place. Mm. I think that's something she put in place to protect herself, so, to protect her okay. own money. Yeah, yeah. I don't think the bank just decided that they were going to do that. So... The, the documentary, is it going to talk about like going depth about everything that's supposedly because they started filming it, I think a couple years ago, like two years ago or something like that. And, um, but, 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 but here's the thing about it the fact that you see in that trailer Wendy without a wig on. And if you used to watch her show like I did, uh -huh. she used to talk about how she would never be caught dead without a wig, a wig on. She would, you would never see her without a wig. And now we see her in this sizzle. This 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 advertising. Oh. Let me jump on you on this. But uh -huh. what we also see, you know, is we see her in the space of of her having this conversation with Black China, and we can see the dementia set setting right in because people with dementia usually have a looping, an ongoing looping of either a trauma or something that's going on. She said, "My name is Wendy Hunter, and I'm divorced." Oh, wow. My real name is Wendy Hunter. I'm divorced. And he's got no money. But here's the thing. I was watching something the other day, and they were talking about if you can catch 
the early onset effects of like dementia, that if you get those B12 shots, that it can reverse it. And what they're saying is dementia, you can Google this, they're saying that dementia and all, Alzheimer's are almost like diabetes of the brain. It's like a deficiency of like, um, I don't want to misspeak, but it's a deficiency in your brain. Mm. And it's like, um, it's like having diabetes in the brain. And I'm just like, oh my They're God. saying no credit. Durant said no They're credit. They're saying type three diabetes. They, this not a, it's not an official classification yet, but they're calling it a type three diabetes. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Google it. No it's credit. diabetes three. See, somebody else is saying it. Not yes, they're, yes they are. We can't trust Google folks. <laughs> no, I saw this the other. No, there are a lot of people saying Well, Miss Mary calling you. No, yes, they're saying it's a lack of sugar, carbs, and lots of. Call me, Yeah, you got look it up though. L literally look it up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start taking my B12s in my ass because you know it just when you take those shots in your ass, the B12 shot, it just have you up at pippy and stuff. Mm-hmm. And and take some drop some B12 under your tongue. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start getting me some B12 shots. Yeah, because you are getting older, Craig. And, you know, it's getting closer, closer, getting older. And you know, the older that we get, this is why you just brought me that punani because you want me to lose weight. Because I know you're gonna go about how you being fat. No, I'm not. I do not fat shame. You were thinking it though. I was not. I could see it in your eyes. No. Well, why did you bring me that punani today? Because you asked for it. But you've been hinting that I need to eat the punani for the longest. I just want us all to be healthier. That, that, I, that ain't got nothing to do with that ain't got nothing to do with being overweight. You see. That that is not the same. I did not say anything about you being overweight or fat. I'm not that fat, Craig. You said it, not me. I'm fat, but I'm not that fat. Because overweight means I'm that fat. What's that? Calorically challenged. What is that? Oh my God. What's that? Anything come for me? What is that, Sam and croquettes? croquettes uh, I want that in grits. Is that what that is? Both for Craig. Both. B O F F. Jimmy, you hungry? Oh, okay. Go out with my own. I don't want no piece of yours. <laughs> Look, I want my own. <laughs> Don't be nickel and dime in me. <laughs> mm, that smells good. It does. And it's so good. And I can't create Mo, Mo didn't bring me no fork, but it's okay. Mm. Um, let's do this real quick. Mm -hmm. So we're coming near to the ending part of the show because I know I'm gonna have to pull my wig off to do this. But to eat this. See, my girl isn't here talking. Wait a minute. Where is um here right here? The article that Craig is referring to was a vegan guy. They gave him B12 and he was restored. But it, again, it has to be like in the early stages. Like I don't think it works when you're full on uh 19 Cypress of uh, 19 Pyrex 20 says, Has your brother enjoyed the show? Who knows? He's very nice <laughs> and quiet. He, he looks like your mom. You think so? Yes. He does. He looks like your mom. You look like your dad. But he, you look like your, your mom. <laughs> Somebody was saying that on my live yesterday that he looks like my mom. He does. Mm -hmm. You know, I love your mama. So my brother, you know, my brother was in jail for 23 years. Okay. He's been out now for 12. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's called reformation. Oh, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Reform, man. Yeah. I really wish I had a fork. I know. So I could sink back down into these grits, but I can do this, though. They're talking about, we want to see. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll show y'all. Well, I can't even. It's too far. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. <laughs> it's Mary No Shield just rubbed my show, but it's okay. <laughs> I want to talk about this. It's in my first book, Wilhelmina. I'm not telling this business. Rashawn Rock has a bench warrant for her arrest after violating her four-year probation sentence and assaulting James Wright. Wait a minute. She hit Won Vicky, too? Mm, mm, mm. Wait a minute. Did she beat Won Vicky, too? This masculine bitch right here. Mm-hmm. Mo, bring me a fork, please, brother. I ain't getting no fork. Did she hit? She hit Vicky too. Oh, Mo, so you got your plate? Oh, she getting my food together, but he got his plate. Craig, you gotta understand, you're a complex homosexual. You don't eat this, and you don't eat that, and you don't like all this kind of stuff, and you can't eat cheese, and you know, you you know, you don't eat animal products and stuff. You know, we there's a whole pig up over here. <laughs> we send the pig to the great beyond over here, bitch. <laughs> a pig has no chance in this house. Didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. By the time I came through, uh, Hollywood had filled this black woman's quota. I didn't send a chance. <laughs> Come on, Jackie Watson. Right. <laughs> oh, so you guys were talking about. Yeah, we talking about Krishan. Oh, okay. So I'll put it back up there. I have questions. Did she assault Wall Vicky too? Because mm, I, mm, mm. I know she hit James in the mouth. Did she assault Wall Vicky? What let they me, did? Let me ask. Let me ask. Let's ask. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? What she did? Oh, on Zeus. Oh, oh on Zeus. Okay. Fred, what you think about this Zeus network? They say before? yes, that she did. Girl, that is the most ignorant shit. Somebody gave me their login to go watch something, and I wouldn't even use the login. You didn't, Greg? No. Listen, I have a quota on how much ignorance I can intake. <laughs> Come in. I can't digest or ingest. I can't ingest all of this stuff. It's just too much. So why do you think she acts the way she does? Is she from Baltimore? Mm-hmm. Well, there's your answer. You're from Baltimore. Babe. I know. But I got out. <laughs> she did too, and she's very rich. Is she? Yeah, she's rich. Is she really? Yeah. From doing what? I'm and I'm being serious. I don't know. Thank you. There she's famous, but that they have they bring those views and stuff like that. I think they pay her very well. Oh, from the Zeus Network? That's where she's rich from? And I think she does, she does, you know, they they bring her out to do, you know, to clubs and stuff also. I believe. I can't believe they paying her that much money over there at the Zeus Network that she's rich. Yeah, and so is Natalie. Oh, thank you, Mo. So is Natalie Nunn, rich. That they be flying million dollar stuff. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, we need they said the network is rich. Yeah, but that don't mean they paying her that much money. But we don't know. But I, I think that she's very, very, very rich. Mm. We need to start our own network. We do. So we can house Fag Talk, Mad in the Morning, Telling, telling our, stories. our Stories, Honey, Bush Queens on a Tin Roof. <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> you just came up with that one? Yes, because that's, that's the private series that Craig got. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, I had to take this down real quick. We'll be back to the second. So wait, are you gonna bring the? Uh, are you gonna watch the the Braxons when they come back? I am. Is this meat in here? What's it's that? Shrimp. That's shrimp. No, that. Shrimp. That right there. It's shrimp. Okay. You know, Miss Mary ain't gonna try to. It's shrimp. 
You know, Miss Mary will try to poison. Let me you. taste it. I tell you, <laughs> that that looks like chicken. No, that's definitely shrimp. Uh, now give me one from your plate. <laughs> <laughs> give me a moment. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Now, one thing I can make is some salmon croquettes. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm gonna have to make some one day and bring over here. Mm -hmm. So what you saying? You don't like Miss Mary? What? I did not say that. You just said you can make them like she can't. <laughs> That is not. <laughs> that was not a part of the subtext. You see, that's what I be telling you, man. That's exactly what I be telling you. You have to watch these girls. <laughs> so shading. Like, these girls not slick. <laughs> but see, that was so good to me. Girl, you put that plate back up in the cabinet. I did. <laughs> oh, that was tasty. Mm. Mm -hmm. The table had to get some. The dress. Oh, that was good. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about this thing right here with this masculine girl. Oh, did you put her 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 warrant or whatever this is up there? Let's do it. Nobody can read that. Is that her photograph? Yeah. Mm. Is that order right there? This is what I don't understand. Like, do we really want to see her carrying like this? No. But that's what's bringing her buddy though. I didn't know who she was until that whole thing happened with James. I had never heard of her. But like I said, I've never watched the Zeus Network either. Right. It's, I, you know, we, we, because, Craig, okay, how many other blogs do you follow? Do you, you follow the Shade Room? I do not. I do not either. You follow Neighborhood Talk? I don't. I do. You follow Hollywood Online? I do not. I do. Um, you follow the Jasmine Brand? I do not. I do. Um... But it's, I have to be mindful. Listen, I have to protect my chi. Mm. Is that chi like in the comment section? My daughter down here? Chi? C H I. Oh. <laughs> and it's like. Well, we have a place in, in, in Miami. It's called a C H I. So it's a mm. clinic. It's called. It's, it's called. C H I. It's a clinic. Oh, okay. What would they do over there? Clinic things. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just. I, like, I'm really serious. Like, so, like, there was a show. Y'all remember the show Cheaters? Yeah, I used to watch that show all of the time, and then I got to a place where I was like, "You got to stop watching this because you're starting to. It's starting to affect me in a way where I started to feel and think that all relationships were like that. But they are though. No, they're not. Okay. And even when it comes down <laughs> to music, like when y'all listen to all that uh, heartbreak shit, every now and then I'm in and out of it because it really does change the scope of how you see the world you know what i mean like it really does affect how you see relationships like you start to mimic that stuff in your real life so i need a few love songs every now and then i need some optimistic stuff same way with your television programming correct i can't i can't have that stuff clogging my mind like all them ignorant ass reality shows and and i'm not saying it well i am but like i've never seen basketball wives what never I've never seen, uh, what's the other one? I want to piggyback off of what you're saying, Craig, because the same thing that got me watching those shows is the same thing that made me leave them. Yeah. I watched the shows. Like, I, I, was, I was a diehard, uh, loving hip-hop fan. I've never seen that. When it first started, when it was Chrissy and Jim Jones, because I used to be like, Chrissy used to always be whooping on those girls and Jim Jones. Then when it moved over to Jocelyn and Stevie, mm -hmm. you know, by the time it had got down to Cardi B, I was done. Oh, like I was done. Like the Stevie stuff, it made me just, I had to jump ship. I was like, okay, I, this, this is like a, this is all, this is taking me into a cycle of, this is a constant cycle of buffoonery. Mm -hmm. So when the Zeus Network came out and they had all that stuff, I decided to check completely out of it completely. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't, I haven't watched I can't tell you what no baddies look like. My brother is a big fan of Bad Girls Club because mm -hmm. he used to sit there. Like, Never seen like, that. He used to he used to sit there and just watch them just. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. So my brother could tell you all. The only, only person I know from the Bad Girls Club is Natalie Nunn. That's the only person that I know from Bad mm -hmm. Girls Club because I've interviewed Natalie Nunn on, right. on a show, on a talk show. I interviewed her. Mm -hmm. I, all that other stuff, I just it's just a it's just a vortex of that. It is. 
And when you think about how that affects your overall overall personality, you say, which brother? Pookie. My brother Pookie has sat there. I, I remember I came home to Miami and Pookie was, was watching the bad girl. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? That's how I saw the girls. They just, and, it was, and it was every reunion and they were <laughs> fighting. Like mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, so what is this show really truly about? Mm -hmm. What is this about? It really does tarnish your, your outlook when you when you overindulge i'm and not saying you can't watch it it's just a constant and yeah. then when you turn the station there's another one right then you turn over here it's another one then it's another one then the then the then the advertisers are like we're not selling any hold on let me let y'all know yeah. something let me let me school y'all in on something mm -hmm. the advertisers are like yes the views are coming in mm -hmm. But there is no substance when these views come in. No. Nobody's trying to buy anything or trying to buy anything in between those commercials. They they trying to hurry up mm -hmm. to get to the rest of the battle. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about no Pepsi, Coke. You, you the mind has to even settle in watching a hamburger come across the screen because the, because right before commercial break, a bottle was getting ready to come down mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. You don't give a, you don't want to eat nothing, right? But then you wonder why you go to work or you're around your friends or your family and you all aggressive. Like that stuff really, media really has a direct impact on how you think and it, how you see the world. That's why, yeah, Craig, it it's does. called TV programming. Mm -hmm. it, right. Right. That is why it's called TV programming. And I think that this girl, I don't need to see anything about her. Mm -hmm. Like I don't need to see nothing about her. I don't, and that's, I don't know her personally. I don't have a personal issue with her. It's just that I, I don't care anything about what's going on with her. Mm -hmm. When she hit my motherfucking friend in the mouth, I was on, on FaceTime with Jane saying, why you ain't have a bitch drop kick this bitch into the next world? Why you ain't have some bitches drop kick this bitch across the street? And she does that. Be, and then here's my thing. Women, I don't give a fuck how masculine you is. You hit a punk and a punk don't hit you back. They're not hitting you back because they're scared of you. They're not hitting you back because they're scared of a nigga that you going to go get. They're not hitting you back because of the fact that you're now going to scream out or you're going to now become a damsel in distress. Mm -hmm. I guarantee, and I don't fuck with nobody, I don't, any one of you hoes that have pressure with me in your chest, Fall off and hit me. What you gonna do? Bitch? I pray for your well being. <laughs> I just do, cause it be it's a lot of restraint that I use from even reading back and forth. I be like, child, let me go on. But I, I don't like stuff like this. When I saw James' mouth, when he, when, when he FaceTimed me and I saw his mouth and I saw how his, his mouth was busted and all this type of stuff. And I'm like, bitch, you ain't call, you ain't tell no hoe. You ain't call whistles for no bitches that you know like your, like your motherfucking... And, but bitch, my girls that know him, that's related to him, was very much so like, bitch, they want to stomp her out. They wanted to walk her like a dog. They wanted to walk her like a dog. But he had to also have that same restraint on, oh my God, this bitch hit me in my mouth. Mm. <clears throat> I'm not going to say I don't like that girl. I don't know her to like her. I'm not going to say I don't mm -hmm. like her because I don't know her. I, I'm The only thing that I see from her is what's portrayed in the social media. That's the only thing that I have seen. Social media is what they what they portray her as. So I don't know. But that bitch could hit me. Mm. Bitch, I wouldn't have no hands or elbows. Or, bitch, I would be by the time they find me, bitch, I'll be swinging to the to 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 their to it's it, I'm up. Bitch, that it'll just be you'll see my shoulders doing like because I don't have no arms. You say you don't know who works hard, Tommy. And I don't, I don't, I don't I, listen. There's a lot of things that I could say about Tommy. 
because I've watched some stuff and I've been like, damn, she be all she's always in a drunken stupor. Who said that? Stupor. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's what she be at. Who said that? 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 What was it? <laughs> it's bless her heart. Bless all their hearts. Mm. I do not condone people putting their hands on people unless it's in self defense, and yeah. definitely not. Yeah. Men beating women. I was so disturbed by this. Mm. Let's take a look. I didn't know you to figure you out. So I didn't know you to know your personality, to know you to come date. That ain't what she said, but okay. Now, bitch. That ain't what she That's said, but okay. Way. You said come date you, come do what? Or whatever. Oh. You come date you, bitch. Who what date? What the fuck are you talking about? Who Ooh. date? Who date? Who date? Oh. I think she need another one. <laughs> Who date? So, I think she need another one. 100, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Who's dating? Check yourself. Oh, oh, who's 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 she back here playing. She back here playing. That's what happens. You back here playing. That bitch back here playing. Hey, what, bitch? I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bitch. I don't play no motherfucking game. Who dated you? Who dated you, bitch? You up here talking all this shit, bitch? Who dated you? Bitch, I don't play no. This was the most awful thing that I have ever seen. And my thing is these men, because it sounded like there were more than just those two or three. It sounded like they were like it's a group. Like y'all sat around there and y'all recorded that motherfucking shit. Y'all sat there and recorded that shit and you watched that. And my thing is, you niggas that's doing that shit, y'all ain't thinking about y'all. You don't have no mama, mm. no sister, no niece, no. You don't have. You don't have that for you to be even. For you to be, and recording it. I don't know what the fuck happened. Here's the thing: I have no idea what happened. I don't care what happened. There's no justification. It's just that. not. I don't know what happened. I don't care what happened. It's just. It's just not. Obviously, you could see that the girl was there in fear. Mm -hmm. And she was talking to. They're all both. All of them are bigger than her. They recorded this and put this shit on the internet. Mm. Mm -mm. And I be thinking, Craig, when I, I'm like, so you niggas, as niggas, stood around and watched that? And recorded. And recorded it and put it online with your faces. I always wonder, though, if I was, happened to be driving by or walking by, like, what would I have done? You know what I mean? Like I always, cause I can't imagine just watching that, seeing that and not saying anything. Like or doing something. And you know they, I mean? they're still around here recording this, Greg. Why <laughs> didn't y'all, why, why was there no one calling the police? Why was bitch, somebody that have been tracking them niggas all, down? Cause they were all in on it. That's why. Mo, they know. And obviously they know her. She knows them. Right. Mm -hmm. Bitch, we coming. We bitch, we somebody come around there where you at. Mm. I don't know when that oh, happened. Oh, somebody said it happened in Wood in Winwood. They're arrested. Praise the Lord. Oh, good. Praise God. What they need to do, send them to prison and let where there's lunchtime, like you said. Play that video. Play that video this is what they need to do. Jail. They need to send them niggas to jail and turn that motherfucking video on out and then let them all spill out into the yard. Right. Where Where is Winwood? Anybody? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, people saying where's Winwood? 
Somebody said that happened. No, that couldn't have happened in Miami. Where's no. Winwood, guys? Because we do have a Winwood in Miami. Oh, they say oh, Miami. They say Miami. What? No, I don't. No, that looked like some. Yeah, that didn't look like Miami. No, they ain't look like. I'm talking about the the houses. Are they saying the art district? Oh, somebody, somebody said Philly, Philly. and yeah, that does look like Philly. It does look like it's up north. It does. They said it was in Oakland, California. I don't know when that was, and clearly y'all don't know either. Yeah, that's not Miami. No, <laughs> somebody said that. that that, that looked like the DMV. Yeah, because that was not yeah, see, Miami. It definitely looked like Baltimore, D.C., Philly. It looks very oh, much like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that coats and the jacket don't say Miami, no. Yeah, see, and, the, and the way that girl talking, it don't sound like a Miami girl. Because you know, I'm a, yeah, girl, okay, it's grind. Girl, mm -hmm. what happened, girl? No. No, bitch, wait. Nigga, get off me, pussy. Pussy, nigga, get off. Yeah, that would have been some very that's very my that's that's definitely a Miami tone. Jeez. That's crazy. Now I ask you this and then I'm gonna leave because I always I'm always gonna approach a thing with a thing. You see how me and Craig sat there. With anger in our hearts, and we're saying like we couldn't just sit there and let's let that happen. Mm -hmm. Do it, Greg. Go ahead. Should I? Yes. You know the people are gonna say, "Well, why do we have to bring this stuff?" See how we didn't need to know anything that justified. We didn't. We don't know what happened. We don't know if she played them niggas. We don't right. know anything. We don't. We don't know what precipitated. Correct. And we don't care. Yeah, right. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't. That was that was some evil shit. Now, had that been one of the girls, it would have been a whole different conversation. Well, what'd she do? She what'd she do? Fool. She must have fooled him. What? What she did? Well, what he did? See, you can't be playing with every nigga like that. So when when this types of stuff happen, when this type of things happen, this is what we be saying was. You have to very much so look at it from a human perspective. Because had that been a trans woman, the we would have been trying to justify that those men were justified in what they were doing. Mm -hmm. We'd have been over there trying to figure out, well, they fool, what well, they, you know, because see what happens is. Yo, yo, you know, everybody ain't with that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shake it. This is, ugh. I, I just don't like us. To, I don't like seeing us. I don't like to see violence, period. I don't. But I definitely don't like to see us handle each other like that. I really don't. Whether it's the Krishan thing or like I just I, I just don't like to see us handle each other like that. You know, like we we're sometimes we're we're sometimes so horrible to each other. And I just feel like the world gives us our ass, hands us our ass, right? The world is already nasty and mean to us. So like the least we can do is be better to each other. That's right. We can at least be better to each other. Right. Let's let us show an example of us being better to each other. Let's end on a better note, Mo. Our our last video of the day. Is he on break? He could be. He could be. You know what I'm talking about? Hey y'all, uh, one second. We can go. <laughs> Hello.
Okay, we're going to end on a better note. We <laughs> <laughs> just had to ring Mo up by his <laughs> by his toenails over there real quick. We had to just gather him up really fast. Because <laughs> I know he's over there enjoying his vittle. <laughs> and we're trying to leave. Because it's 6 o'clock. Yes. I need me a piece of foil to take my plate home. See, I had eaten right before I got here, but I'm not going to pass up a plate. What? <laughs> what, Mo? Don't look bad. Just look forward so we can get this done. I can hear you, though. You can? I can. That's our typing up. Um... Yes, the release one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Don't do it. Let's not. Don't forget to get your tickets for Nashville. <laughs> they say tight knees. <laughs> right. Tight bitch. Tight knees. <laughs> oh my god. So while this is converting, we'd like for you to think about it. So just think heavy about what we're saying here, Craig. I think mm -hmm. that was a good way to, to make people think, like mm -hmm. to, to make people have this thought in their mind. Because, bitch, I'm telling you, I may not could have whooped on them niggas, but I damn sure would have maced them, shot at them, ran my car into them or doing something over there, like and not knowing what the fuck going on. Mm -hmm. But it's just like you can see clearly you do. You are big niggas swinging on this girl. That was crazy. Are we ready? Yep. So we're going to end on this note. Craig, I want you to say that line that you said before we were thrown, What's that? thrown off of Oh, uh, about us just being nicer and better to each other? Yes. Because the world is the world is horrible to us as people of color. And so the the, the least we can do is be sweeter and kinder to each other. And ho and hold each other down. Yeah. Like this. You show me 100%. Come here, man. Come here. Dude, I am not racist at all. Come right here. Stay right here. Did he call you a nigga? One of them called me a nigga, no, yeah. No, it was not me, dude. You should a hundred. Is that your bitch that live up here? Dude, it's Is that your bitch that just walked downstairs? I told you my daughter stayed downstairs. I told you abroad before. If y'all motherfuckers fuck with my child and my grandson downstairs, I was going to maim you motherfuckers. Did he call you a nick? One of them did call not me a me. nigger. You sure? A hundred percent. Not me, bro. Not me. A one hundred percent. I'm gonna kill that bitch outside. Not not I got hmm. we needed that man on the scene. Right. We needed that man on the scene mm -hmm. with them other niggas. We needed that man on the motherfucking scene for that, for that, for them niggas. Mm hmm He came there with the gloves on. Crazy. He like he had just got off work. He can't, bitch. Him glove. He came there for action. He snatched that motherfucking nigga out that house, didn't he? Come up out of here, bitch. Come out here on this veranda. Go on this, yeah. So I can get a piece of that ass, right? Hmm. Somebody said this sexy the daddy. <laughs> it was actually. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please get your CPNs and <laughs> hey girl, I thought you were gonna remind them to get their ticket. For I am because they probably need a CPN to get their ticket. So we're gonna have a bunch of reimbursements at the door. Uh uh, because that's on the play. So, so you gonna have all these people run a refund to City Winery? Well, they're not gonna have to because they what's my what's what's it clear to my account? Yes, that's what to do with me. <laughs> Don't be out in the park a lot of the city winery in Nashville in handcuffs. Because I take cash from them only. And I will be pay taking your picture and then we will put it on the next show. <laughs> put the fly up there so they can see. That's right. Get your tickets at www.fagtalk.com, honey. Because we're going to have some loud laughing. They call a fag talk. That's fag. right. Some fag talk. Oh, the Maddie in the Morning live show in Nashville, 10 a motherfucker seat at the City Winery, February the 29th. That is this Thursday, honey. That's a leap year. Yes. Don't meet us there. Beat us there. Leap year is the years of, of, uh, of abundance. 
abundance and overflow. That's right. We love y'all like a fat bitch love chocolate chip cookies. Get your perfume. Yes. Get your perfume so that you can smell like everything. Because when I roll up on you, I want you to smell like everything. Put it on our face, Mo. It's two of us now. Yes, yeah, it. <laughs> That's it, honey. Scan the code. QR code. We are back in stock. I know that there were some people telling me that they that it, that they uh, ran out, but we, we sold out. But bitch, we're back in. I, I was on the edge yesterday. Get in there. Use Maddie twenty. Maddie twenty. That's M A D D I E twenty to get you twenty percent off the everything parfum. And last but not least, if you're in dire straits of money to make the world go round and to make it happen, please, ladies and gentlemen, visit www dot paid for your say dot com again that's www dot paid for your say dot com in a promo code maddie 100 so that you can be on your way to financial freedom you can be on your way to be your own boss you can be on your way to make your own hours and schedules like modems and you possibly can quit that job that you hate like modems right <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> www.payforyoursay.com promo code Maddie 100. Once you get into the program, you only have to pay one time. Mm -hmm. You're in there, and listen, don't take our word for it. There are people in the comments. There are people. That are, one day we're going to do a show dedicated to the people that have came up, the yeah. people that have bought cars, that have bought. Craig, Craig was over there speaking velour. Uh, I mean, excuse me, French, and learn learn the word velour. Uh, and learn a lot of things about living in France off of pay for your doing his pay for because not only is he uh uh he's a, he's the president he's also a client. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Y'all stay blessed and we'll see you soon. Bye y'all. Bye. <laughs> Shh. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash TS Madison Hinton. And you'll be glad you did. I promise. Hey, everybody. This is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye.